What is up guys? Welcome. We're finally here. We're going to do level one enemies and items randomized all bosses plus DLC. And I made sure everything was working ahead of time. We start off with the war pick apparently. Use what you see. Definitely not use what you see because we're level one. So we can't use most things in the game. That'd be ridiculous. But of course there's always going to be a comment. Is it also this too? And we need the deprive class. So you get the war pick to start off with. I don't really remember how this game works with like the stagger and all that, but we'll see. Boom. Here we go. He covers on new channel today. You saw some of them. Check sick. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I uh, was actually working on some other stuff. I'm excited to share the future things. Definitely gonna have to be some improvements, but definitely very excited. So yeah, that's. I'm probably not gonna kill the mimic. That's gonna be a bit tricky. And I don't think this shield. Can I sh parry with this shield? Oh, I'm gonna be eaten. First death already. Why do you need a timer if it's not a timed run? Uh, just to show how long it takes, because I'm thinking this is going to take over 24 hours. So if it's a really long run, it kind of helps, especially for the YouTube concept, because uh, think of it this way. The final video on the main channel is going to be like literally a fraction of what happens. So you're going to have the idea of how long it actually took. Rather than thinking I did this in three hours, I want to show, yeah, it took like 20 something hours. And if we do it in less than that, that's actually incredible. And we should probably make it even harder and do Fog Gate too. And then maybe even do this on the other games. So we got Crystal Sage. Oh, that is a parry shield actually, cool. What happens if I just, ooh. Ooh, I got the parry. Very bad damage though without meeting requirements here. I think that with the two hand, I'll be fine. Just keep forgetting the controls, we were just playing Elden Ring. Gotta go back to the DS1 controls. It's gonna go phase two. Oh, that's where it gets funny. And of course we didn't start with any crazy armor, but at least I can, can roll pretty normally. Oh, I found him. Found him! You couldn't even make that up. Watch, I'm just gonna predict it again. Boom, he's right here. It's not him, okay, I'm wrong. No one played the lottery tonight. It's unlucky. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the magic just disappeared. Dude, what's with the randomizers making magic invisible? Is it all bosses including DLC? Okay, I'm not gonna call you Mayo today because we already learned that was uh, that was bad luck. And I immediately died last time I called you Mayo. Yeah, we're doing the DLC Mayo. Adding fog gate won't be hard. Easy. You think like for the challenge of the run it won't be hard or do you mean like just the technicality of it wouldn't be too difficult? We got some interesting things here right away. We got human pine resin, which is great. So I'm gonna buy all three of those. Fire bombs, uh, I don't know. Got large titanite. We got regular titanite and large. Not a lot of it though. Okay, let's check the roof and see if we can do the tree jump. If I get first try tree jump, this run's gonna be done today. No, I'm joking. That's impossible. <laughs> All right, first try tree jump. Yep, it's the run. Still do. I haven't done that for a really long time. I don't remember what we actually drop here. Is it? It's like it's like a fire bomb, I think. Actually, I guess you could drop quite a few things. But remember, in the run, there used to be something you drop. Oh, it's a homeward bone. And what do you get for the homeward bone again? What is it? Is it like a an upgrade material or something? Oh my god. Yeah, we have quite a few uh, homies over here. Oh my, dude. Oh yeah, great arrows and big skeletons. Ooh. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, see ya. <laughs> Embered? I don't think so. Mill oh, dude, we got the Millwood bow. That's crazy. That's like all the way in the DLC. I don't think I'm going to be able to use it. I might, like, I can't remember. Is SL1, po like, is it possible to use the Millwood axe with rings? Because we have the we have the strength ring, the knight's ring in this. And there's the faith ring, too. There's quite a few things we can use to meet some requirements, as far as I remember. Oh, that's crazy, dude. Gargoyle of the stairs. <laughs> can we get out of here? No. Dead. Okay, I'm going to try the other way. I thought maybe I could sneak by. So that is an item, but I want to see, do they get killed? No, they don't. I might though. Large Titanite Shard, yes! It was worth it. It was worth it. Heal. Whoa! Heal. Kill the guy. I got the Sunlight Sword too, and then, uh, let's grab, oh, wait. Wait a second. What do we got here? Large Titanite Shard again. Nice. It's gonna be good. Large Titanite Shard. Dude, look at all the upgrade materials, man. Estus Ring? What? I mean, I'm just gonna go for the, the one in the corner. Who cares? Already a stacked run here. Tight, regular tight. Okay. Profuse sweat. Uh, that's what I'm having right now. There's no item down there. I thought. Oh, there was a chest originally, wasn't it? With the the axe that had the dark gem in it. This is a little bit better. No Lothric knight here. Dogs below. We got the Estus shard already. Nice. Ha, the dog doesn't even want to go across the, the little plank here. He's afraid of heights. Weenie. Oh shit. Maybe he's not. Ugh, knock him off. Ah, he knocked me off the karma. Okay. Is that a, is that what the crystal lizard was replaced with right here? Yes. It was. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, dude. DLC dude with the bow. 
They're like Liza P. Sissick. Liza P is one of my favorite games. I actually, I'm gonna go back and play it soon. I just, I really wanted to de-rust these games and I wanted to do runs that were fun. Upon going back to all of them would, would be best served with randomization and just madness at level one. I think that's the, the coolest thing you could do. Since I've never even tried this and normally I wouldn't have even, I, I wouldn't have even done this like normally. If it was something that I thought I could actually do before, I probably would have already done it. But I, I obviously did not believe in it. A DS1 run made me believe. And then the next step would be like a regular character that is leveled. And then I'm doing um, like a hitless or a, or a deathless run maybe with randomization. Especially double randomization, deathless or hitless, that'd be insane. I think most people are doing, is it, is it, wait, did Eggie's run include items and enemies for Elden Ring as well? And then the one that Hob was doing too on DS1, is that, was that both? Dragon Tooth, what? I can't use that. Okay, let's try to see if we can get one more item. Drop down and then let's get the shortcut. Could use an Ember to heal, but do I have time? Just barely, dude, that was crazy. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get the shortcut just in case. Dog got dunked. Jailer got dunked. Lothric Knight has a buff on his weapon. What? What the hell's going on with that, man? That's a little too much. Yep. There's there are some things over in this section too, but I think I think I want to just literally go to Emma first and see what's going on. So what we could do, just to be ridiculous right off the bat, like absolutely nuts, is I could kill Emma and see if we get a better replacement than Dancer. Even Dancer itself, like that'd be kind of risky on this right now. I don't know if I remember how to do it that well, but any single boss fight in general, as long as it's um, not too strong early, I think we have a chance. It's, if we get DLC stuff, like if it's Gale on this right now, I'm probably dead. <laughs> what do we got? Oh no. And they're silent too. You can't hear the warps. Oh shit, dude. This is this is nuts. But you know what? I was born to do this. Let's go. <laughs> if there's a phase two, dude, I'm gonna lose my mind. I think it might just be Lurian. This has obviously got to be hitless because our health is a little low. I don't think he's gonna. I'm not gonna survive if I get hit by him, most likely. So unupgraded Lurian. Not the worst ever, but kind of scary. Quick drop hasn't happened yet, so that's good. But I think as soon as that happens, I gotta I gotta be really careful. So we don't have any audio for it. I don't even know if there is audio for it. That, that matters normally, but it just kind of feels weird. Ooh, stamina. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Be careful. Oh, phase two music triggered. That's interesting. Phase two dancer music. Ooh, that was a little little spicy. I probably should have moved. Slow drop. Uh, okay. Gotta be a little bit less spicy with placement here. And then stairs are kind of weird too. I don't know if that's gonna affect anything. No greed. Weird. Very weird. He got deleted, dude. Whew, that was fucking nuts, man. Oh boy, my hands are sweating. Jeez. Okay, well, that we we just got 65,000 souls from that. <laughs> now I set a standard that's impossible to follow for the rest of the run. Oh boy, we can just go see what would even replace Dragon Slayer Armor 2. If we're gonna be really silly on this right off the bat, I might as well go upgrade because I have some Titanite now. So we'll go to Andre and then we'll see what's replacing Slayer before we even go to Vort. Hitless SL1, no upgrades, Lorian, with no practice for about a year. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. I mean, I would I would be disappointed if we had gotten like pretty far in it and didn't get it. So I'm trying to remember if be this is possible right now. World, oh, okay. Maybe it is actually. Yeah. Hey, Squirrel, Whoa. How you been? Chill, man. Oh, launch, dude. He didn't do any damage. He like landed on my head. This area is already really bad. I think I'm just going to get the bonfire. <laughs> I forgot the thralls, they just like auto trap. Oh my god, they're so good. <laughs> they're way too good. Dude, the rat got killed, man. That fucking parent is so bad. The rat the rat mom was just like, ah, my baby's dead. Who cares? Let's go find the the ashen one. <laughs> this run up is brutal. This is actually pretty funny, because I bet you even if I blocked, I'd still be screwed. I'm gonna try. I could do mid-roll percent. I just don't know if that's a Oh, you actually can block the rat. What? Oh, the ankles. Oh my god, they're so fast. <laughs> oh yeah, we got charge attacks in this game. I forgot about that. There we go. So we'll reset them and then we'll go check for the items. Oh man, there's a... <laughs> there's one of the tree people here. I keep forgetting about all these enemies. That's insane. You, you don't really fight these guys that often if you do the types of runs I'm doing. Usually kind of... You might see them in the background or something, but I don't even go to the area that involves them, typically. I think I run by one at the beginning of the DLC. All right, and then the, the wyverns are still normal, so I don't know if we can make it across there. We could do the armor skip. Morn's ring, nice. Oh, shit. Oh, God. 
Whoa. Okay, he's chilling. We're good. I'll drop back down here again. Oh, armor skip. I got to reset the armor again. Oh, this is a big crystal lizard in the other room, and its tail is sticking through the wall. Oh, I don't know if I can grab that item. I might have to open the door for that. <clears throat> and then uh, killing the wyvern would be really hard right now, too. This is a little easier. Oh, never mind. <laughs> now I'm trying to check Dragon Slayer armor, but we got to get through this whole area. I forgot about this part. Oh, man, what is happening here? But, whoa, Nameless is on Dragon Slayer armor. That's ridiculous, dude. That's crazy. This might not work. This really might not work, dude. Especially if phase two kicks in. If it's just one, maybe. Like, maybe, maybe. I don't even really remember everything on this. He's kind of janky, too. He's throwing things in weird directions. Yeah, he's getting stuck on that fountain, dude. What if he falls off? His attacks are really not going in the right directions here. Damn it. <laughs> that's so weird and inconsistent, dude. I don't know. Yeah, that's going to be death. Okay, I got the door open at least. And then we'll get the other shortcut. Oh, God. Ankles. They always get the ankles, man. Did they go for the ACL? Oh, yo, the thrall. No! That's fine. We got the shortcut. Back to Lothric Castle. Oh, we got deacons. Deacons of the Boreal Valley. <laughs> do we still get the Archdeacon? Oh, we do. But he's over here? No. Oh, he's over there. Oh, that's not good, dude. If they build Curse, that's really bad. Uh, this might be actually really hard. There's the fireballs, yeah. Ooh, that's a really rough start, dude. And the Vor soundtrack, too, it actually works. <laughs> that's so funny. At all. I have two alluring skulls, so I could I could throw the skulls in that exact same situation we're in, but then that's it. We gotta get it. And we can't have the Deacon hit me, because he does quite a bit of damage, too. That thing's scary. Uh, that's the bridge guy. Okay. He drops an item, though, doesn't he? What? <laughs> Ooh, there's an item there. Titanite Shard, yes, perfect, there's one. And then I can't, oh yeah, there's the room over here that usually has something that we grab. I think it might be the broadsword, typically. Titanite Shunk, that's kind of nice. So th there's, there's a huge chance there's another small Titanite somewhere around there. Just need to get the lever and hide now. Oh, <laughs> frame perfect. And then that's, oh, dude, we sent it up, but we didn't even get the, the gate. There's another item at the top of there too. Oh boy. Help you settle a bet chat. Asylum Demon or Horalu all oiled up who's winning? <laughs> you know what, dude? Honestly, Horalu, I, I have to say him because if you if you didn't pick him, he would most likely just do some crazy like fatality on you or something. So just from pure fear, I would actually have to pick Horalu. We don't have the key for Grey Rat, so it doesn't matter. But he, he because he is a merchant, I mean, we probably would want to unlock him at some point. I think I can make it. Ooh, maybe not. Sandwiched. Please don't kill me. Drop off, drop off, drop off. Thru thrust, he falls. He falls, backstab. Nope, not Dark Souls 1. Can't do that. He's too fast, he's got a shield punish. Where's he going? No, no. Oh, that's bad, that's bad. No, nope. no. Oh, I hate that. Oh my God. Am I gonna be able to kill him? Oh, I could I could try to parry him, actually. Dude, I, I can't get that opening attack so fast. Dude, he did get randomized though. The Exile Sword, that's crazy. That's even worse. So if we make him spin, he might be able to fall off. Uh, <laughs> or I could just fall off, it's fine. I swear we can get him to fall off. I could also parry the one-hand attack pretty easily too. Not the jump. He, dude, every time he does, does the first engagement, he does something I can't parry, that's crazy. <laughs> And then now he does something I can parry. There we go. Thank you. Backstab. Nope. Running attack. Oh, dude, if I parried the weapon art, that'd be so cool. Nope. He's actually doing a lot of mix-ups, man. This is insane. It's like PvP. The regular sword guy is way easier, in my opinion. Now he's just chilling. He's letting me... Okay, maybe this is kind of like PvP. Did somebody invade me? Oh! <laughs> He's a PvP lord, he just stopped. Alright. Let's go and try Deacons with plus one again and use the Skulls and maybe use a Pine Resin. Skull. Alright, please, please help. Please make it better. It's good. We're good, we're good. 
One, two, fireball's coming in, so we throw another one. We do that there. Chilling. Is it gonna be enough, though? It's really concerning, dude. See, like, the combos are just wild. So I can heal, I can heal. Just gotta be chill. Just don't, don't overreact. Get back in there. Be chilling. And then, again, account for fireballs. Don't get greedy. They're calling curse, it's okay. They lost. That's Deacons with a plus one. And then we get the deep battle axe from them, that's funny. Oh man, I'm so glad we got that, nice. Okay, let's keep moving. You talk to the wrong person? Oh wait, what? How did we sit and die at the same time? Like, which one is he? Uh -oh, oh, there champion he is. To be in your presence. Yeah, we're totally going to use your sorcery abilities to help this run because oh. I'm gonna use a lot of magic I, on this I, I one at level one. Dead. Actually, I might be able to get a like Karthus Flame Arc or something like that. That might be a good one. Oh, maybe with the bridge. Live! Oh, that was gonna work. Okay, we got three Titanite Shards. That's amazing. We are about to be upgrading the War Pick. Oh, we got Worm Guy too. Oh my god. I forgot that was a status effect. Now I need a torch. Dude, wait, let me just get the light the bonfire, maybe? I don't know if this is gonna kill me. Can we get him to fall off the cliff? Oh, it's gonna peek right at- oh, never mind. We're good, we're good. Okay. Was as much damage as I thought it would be. <laughs> oh no. No stagger, and then by the time this builds up, can we kill him? And then, like, just touch the bonfire, maybe? Just insane, there's no stagger, dude. And he's gonna die, probably, and then I'm still gonna die here. Right before I get it! No! It was so close. It was actually so close. Whoa. Wait, did I? What? That was a lot of stuff. That was a crazy amount of stuff, dude. That's very scary. <laughs> oh! Can I get them to fall? Oh, he threw some. He threw dung pie. Why was that a thing? Can I make it? Okay, I'm just gonna get this bonfire opened up too, and then we will go to Crystal Sage. I think Great Wolf's over there. I can hear the howling. Oh no. That guy's very bad. He's stuck though. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we got to fight Dragon Star Armor anyways. This is pretty fun. That's cool. I love doing Dragon Star Armor early. It's probably one of the best early bosses. I'm gonna go light equip load and just go nuts on this. Keep the hat for style and the shield. Did he. We cancelled phase two? Like it happened, but we cancelled the startup? Can he go into... Oh, wait, no. I don't, he might not even have phase two. It just might be the regular one. I don't think he's going to do the projectiles. No double shield either. Wow. Pretty good RNG. There we go. <laughs> he listened to me. That's funny. Probably could have spaced that. I need to do, make him do the backward shield thing, too. I forget what side. I think it's like right here. Oh, that's... Ooh, that was close. Sketchy. Nice. Is the boss, boss health scaled? Seems like it a bit. So basically everything has its original health. Everything has the same health it would normally have. But the only difference is like that wasn't phase two because technically when he goes into the transition, I guess it, it doesn't, it doesn't queue like that for, for uh, Sage. Sage doesn't have, um, like it's a different event, I guess. So yeah, like Lorien was the same thing. For him to go into phase two, he needs a cutscene for Dragon Slayer armor. It's kind of like, um, I guess it maybe is dependent on the arena and the Pilgrim Butterflies. I don't even know, but it didn't make him do phase two. Not as bad as DS1. Large Titanite. Ooh, I'm almost dead. So this is apparently Gale. <laughs> so I guess we'll get the DLC open now. I haven't even checked out Abyss Watchers yet. I haven't done the swamp, so we're going to go get the DLC open and then go and get Abyss Watchers. You're streaming and hanging out here watching your stream and chatting. Wait, what? Wait, you're live right now watching me chat? Wait, how's that possible? Am I reading that incorrectly? You're saying that you're live right now, but you're here at the same time. <laughs> what? Oh my god, we got Yorm and we got the Storm Ruler already? Oh boy. Wait, how much damage do I do to his foot? Like, because we would be here for a long time. Yeah, we'd be here for quite a while, so we got the Storm Ruler at least. <laughs> I could try to kill him with the regular weapon. But it's not even fully upgraded, so that's that's terrible. <laughs> and I've already done that many times before. I don't think there's anything to prove here. The Abyss Yorm, yeah. So the names actually get updated. Oh, dude, we got the headshot. Oh, I forgot about the Superman jump. That's cool. It's been, it's been long enough I forgot about the jump. The Hilt Run? Ooh. And that's on... Oh, yeah, Dark Souls 1 Hilt. That's terrible. 
I can't remember. Oh yeah, no, I did do that. Yeah, that was really bad. Just killed Yorm in place of Abyss Watchers, and there's actually enough ceiling space for his head to not touch the ceiling. That's pretty cool. I could believe that he could have made it into this place, maybe before they built this archway. Like, he could have just walked in from the catacombs, maybe? The grocery store? King Supers is a grocery store in the United States. Oh, okay, I don't live in the United States. I live in Canada, so... Never heard of that. The only grocery store I remember from the United States that was notable was Food Lion, but that might be pretty bad compared to other stuff that I could have found. That's the only place I remember getting groceries from. Oh wait, isn't there a bone shard? That's a black knight though, oh no. <laughs> There's no way Food Lion's better than any grocery store. Well, it, it was the only one that I've been to, so I don't know, I don't have a big, uh, <laughs> like a big set of comparisons. Compared to the ones here, it was pretty much the same thing as some of the stuff here. Like, it actually even looked the same on the inside. I'm trying to even think, like, I didn't even go into a grocery store when I was in the US the last time. Yeah, that's not good. Playing on PC with a controller. Yeah, I have uh, I have the Xbox controller, like just the regular Xbox One. It's the one that has the eight-way D-pad, so actually it might be the one from the... I don't remember, I don't remember what the console is called, it's the newest one. It's like an at 1S or 1X or something like that. And then, yeah, it's got the eight-way D-pad. I can't believe we can't get in here. Easier with a controller versus keyboard and mouse, Zeus. So it depends on the player. For me, it's easier for a controller. I can play with the keyboard and mouse. Like, I'll try to right now for a second. Oh, I died, never mind. <laughs> Man, there's so many of the things from the DLC in this area, dude. This is absolutely crazy. This dog. Get out of here. You're gonna get me killed. There we go. Is that Frida? Oh, that's Gundyr. Oh, champion? Or regular? Okay, we gotta do parries. I think it's regular because he's got the sword in him. High Lord Gundyr, yeah. He he went from Gundyr the Judge, Udex Gundyr, to High Lord Gundyr. He got a promotion. That was a really weird parry. It's still activated. A little bit late. That's what we would call a failed parry on a run. I'm, I'm trying to, I guess, dial back from the Elden Ring parry timing because that's a little bit less lenient than this one. Oh, we need to get some music going for the soundtrack, by the way. I think I turned down the music volume. I think you can still parry him in phase two as well. Gundyr kind of fits this arena a little bit to the, I guess Smoldering Lake would probably be the best thing next, right? So we, we could go through Smoldering Lake and then do Deacons. Oh, I got Profane Flame. Nice. I think that's a pretty good Pyromancy. I don't know if I could really use it. Oh, we got... We got, uh... Staggered there somehow. I don't know how that happened. This guy seems faster. What's going on here? Is he supposed to be the worm? Dude, I'm freaking out. Can I get to the bonfire? I think he might be the worm. I'm gonna kill him, but I need to get safe first. Dude, running into him is staggering me. Is this Grave Tender? Oh my god, dude, no way. Oh no. Couldn't switch to two hand and then repose fast enough because we don't have the requirements for the warp pick one handed. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna go to, I guess, Cathedral. Be the smartest thing to do. I also want to find a, an NPC that has more items so I can check for this small Titanite. Oh my god. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. <laughs> Seem like you know what you're on about. Well, I just, like if I have interest in certain things, I think that it seems like that. And it, there's also the, it's the five percent rule again too. I'm not saying that I actually only know five percent more. Like it could be significantly more than that, but it, it but it might not be as much as you actually think. So consider that if you're told something and someone knows five percent more than you about it, and you really are not a big thinker or someone that likes to actually extrapolate information constantly, and you need you need to know everything that you possibly can get your hands on. You're gonna actually think they know a lot more than what they actually do know. So you'd have to actually stress test that, right? And then like if the person's not gonna admit that they only know maybe five percent more, they're gonna try to sell themselves in a way to convince you of something. Then it's intention that's important. I don't really want to convince you of anything. We're just talking about whatever, right? So even if it is five percent, that's fine because I'm not trying to. I'm not telling you to do anything. We're just talking about random shit. <laughs> This happens, though, a lot with, like, other subjects that are heavily covered in certain literatures and have a lo long history where, like, I have some knowledge of that. And people do think that it's, like, it's fully grasped, but it's, like, even the people that are involved in it professionally aren't even there. So, like, no one's really there, but I'm not on that level that you might think even. It's just, it could be the 5%. Man, Madeira is just in the bottom of this place. That's terrible. 5% is brain bigger than all chat can buy. <laughs> 
But then they looked inside and there was nothing there. That's why I could hit my head so many times and not have any concussions, which is actually true. I've hit my head so many times in a couple spots where there's like goose eggs or like, you know, like my like my actual skull has changed shape in certain places. <laughs> and I was showing some people like when I had shorter hair and they're like, oh my God, like that's actually kind of scary. <laughs> How many deaths I have in a playthrough? I think this one will be quite a few, but not as many. I'm wondering if we're even going to be able to get through here. I'm going to have to kill some of these guys and then really hope Madeira's not trying to kill me. Oh, we got a gargoyle? Whoa, that's so bad. Dude, this is actually nuts. Okay, wait, 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 whoa. I don't even know how we'd be able to do that. I need a dagger. What has the a move set? Wait, is it? Is great act? No. I need a knife. Yeah, I need a dagger so we can do the quick step. Can I heal? No. That's a lot. Should have thought of that staircase. I'm trying to think. Like, there's another way to get up there. I think we might have to do that. You have to remove the alligator dog. I don't even know if I can kill him and the gargoyle with this weapon. I have plus two still. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, we, what we're supposed to do is we go up here and then I think I crawl out of, is it this window? Is this a different place? That's the main door? Oh yeah, the ladder, there we go. I'm trying to remember how to get to the covenant over here because I think that through that way, there's another door you open and I might be able to fall into the area without having to go through that little water part. I'm trying to remember exactly, is it is it specifically this way or am I just forgetting? Because we got this right here. Yeah, that is above, okay. I always thought that this part right here reminds me of like a, a really, really tasty looking pretzel thing or whatever, or like a, like those, um, if anybody's had, I don't even know what it's called. It's like a toasted or like a baked, it's not a chip and it's not a cracker, but it's like a puff and it has like a waffle design in it. It reminds me of those things. They have like sour cream and onion ones. There's like a bunch of different flavors. <laughs> it reminds me of like one side of those. Oh, this is scary. Can we pull the lever? Yes. Oh, yo, that was, <laughs> that was boxed in, dude. Like, is there anything that happened? Yeah, the, the gate's up. Okay, cool. So then on this upper level, I might be able to actually go up there and do something. How do I get back up there? Do I have to go all the way around again? That sucks. Okay, wait, we could go like, into the place we were at. And then I'm trying to remember where we were. Okay, wait, let's go across this way. That goes back out to there. And wait, what's this? Okay, wait a second. Is this where we wanted to go the whole time? Poppables, yeah, not, maybe not puffs, poppables, there we go. Uh, do you think Millennia is overhyped or really the most difficult boss? Uh, I think she is the most difficult in the game, but I wouldn't say there's overhype. I, I, don't, I don't personally like her the most out of everybody. Like, it's very close to being number one if you just change the way she actually interacts when it comes to the, um, the idol. Yeah, no, she, she definitely is the hardest boss in the game, yeah. I can't think of anything harder. But if she didn't have self-healing and Waterfowl didn't exist, then yeah, she would be nowhere close. Without the healing, it would also still be a little bit debatable. And without Waterfowl, it would also be still debatable. But um, those those make it very trick tricky. And then the phase two, you know, the health rot status. Um, and then the the idol's gone in phase two. So it, like, if, if everything operated that way the whole fight, I think it'd be nice. But then they'd have to change some stuff more so in the second part to make it a little bit more varied, I think. No! Yeah. I might be fine. D boom. If I kill this dude, he's gonna respawn. That's the one thing that sucks. But you know what? Let's try. He's probably giving me the biggest problem now. So we got this gate down at least. Oh, now we got all the other enemies. Ah! Oh my god, dude. Get out of there, please. I can't. I can't move. I actually can't move. Yo! I can't move. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. No, 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 no. Armor of thorns. Ugh. Oh, that was stressful. Okay. Yo, this thing's still alive. I didn't know it just chills. What? Like, if the gargoyle can get stuck on the other side of this, that's nice. I don't think he can, though. Oh, shit. Oh, now I can't heal. Okay, this is really bad. I don't know if I can leave the gargoyle alone. This is really dangerous. Uh, how was that? <laughs> All right, so the main door is open. It's good. I get you know what? Actually, even going up those stairs was way easier, so it probably shouldn't matter too much now. Probably do the same thing again. Finish cooking. Why do you have the? Why don't you have the grass crest shield? I actually do. Jokes on you, man. It was like Ludwig's guiding moonlight. He was he was just looking at it. He was looking the wrong way. <laughs> oh boy, that's really rough, dude. <laughs> that's like the worst. Oh no. Oh no, dude. 
plus two on Frida at level one with medium roll? No, thank you. What? And we have to do this. Oh, the damage is okay, though. For Ariandel, at least. Not terrible. So we'll just do the usual of just trying to get her to not kill us. But it's only phase two, though, so we don't get the phase three. It's nice. Oh, she heals him. I forgot. No, you may not do that. Ugh. I just want to talk. <laughs> this is a bad fight, but it's kind of funny because the pillars, too. Thank God we got the phase two. Okay, where is she? Can't see Frida. Now I can. Oh! My God, that scared the hell out of me. That was a horror movie right there. Jesus. Man. No. Yo. I got staggered. Um, backstab. Get hurt. Nice. Please don't tell me there's phase two. There's no way. Yo, is there actually? There's no way. We're not. No. Dude, there's a. Okay. Wait, no. Yo, she's actually. She is. She is. I'm buffing. And then I gotta take the armor off, dude. I gotta get, like, super, super swift on this one. I don't remember how to do this. Oh my god, wait a second. No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh my god. This is really. This is making me nauseated. I'm sick. Oh god. <laughs> what is happening? Where'd she go? Oh yeah, and then there's like the charge up one. There's the charge up one. Ah! <laughs> so scary. Whoa. I, I, okay, it's it's red tear. Oh, wait, do we? I don't have red tear stone, do I? I don't know. Oh my god. I'm dead. That really sucks. I really wish we could have got that first try. I think that if I didn't get hit by that one attack, if I had just played it safer, which I could have, I just didn't know where she was. Then yeah, we would have still been in it. Oh man. I, I just need to remember the backstabs and everything like that. That was rough. Oh my God. I just, did I reset the settings by trying to quit out there? All right, let's do this. Rings, so I got Havel's ring, which means I think we actually could potentially wear more than the gloves. Uh, we want frost resistance though too. 23. That's pretty good, actually. You know what? Okay, we'll play with a, like a heavier setup for the first part, and then second part, I'll just take off these two. I really wish there was friendly fire so he could just, like, destroy Frida with the bowl. That'd be amazing. Nothing like a hot shower in lava. <laughs> really just gets the uh, the blood flow in there. Or maybe something else. <laughs> I don't even know what else would be in there. Okay, now that this has got to be staggered. Yes, I was about to bet my entire life on it. Oh my god. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna use an ember there. Healing pine resin. I just gotta do really good. Let's see if I can just like let the muscle memory come back. Nice. Okay. I'm just trying to remember what is safe and what is not. Super scary. I didn't really want to do that, but I'm like, we're close. Let's just go for it, man. It's been a really long time since I fought Frida, guys. Like, I want to say years, man. Or, like, something something weird. Maybe maybe there's a run that I did that I forgot about, you guys know about, but correct me if I'm wrong. Lots oh, of grab, I forgot. Oh. This one's safe. I already did that before. Oh, no, I forgot! Ugh. That's a good one, but I can't backstep. Because I'm in a weird spot. Oh yeah, this is the little jump that he jump. yep. And then that's a really quick backstab, but we can't get that because the window on this is shit. Okay. That's a good one again. You need to like rebound completely in the center of her, or she has to like match up with you in the center. Nice. It's a good one. You gotta be so quick. Man, there's so many weird phantom backstab escapes and all that. Oh, back to the wall? That's really unfortunate! <laughs> no! Yo, that was in the air, dude! Chill! There we go. Perfect. I probably could hit twice? No! Yo! Okay, little jumpy jump. No, no jumpy jump. Oh, boy. Okay, this is good. This is good RNG. Oh, I think this is it, guys. Yes! Oh! Oh, wait, no, 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 actually. I gotta do the... the... Only some people will understand this meme, because I only explained it once. Anytime you, you have to go, ah, and sigh, you have to go, ah, sykes. There's a story that was uh, about an old man drinking from a water fountain that 
side after he drank water. A friend of mine told me. And he's just like, he's just like, ah, sykes. <laughs> he's like really enthusiastic about it. I don't even know what that means, but that was a that was an ah sykes moment. You wanted us to doubt? I actually wasn't sure about that one. All right, I'm gonna continue the timer now. I checked to make sure everything was randomized first, so I did move the character to the bridge, which is the next part we have to go to. The game did crash though. We got this surprise. Oh, okay, there you go. Even better. Yeah, so we got Demon King on the bridge, or not not even Demon King, just the regular Demon guy. So that was really funny. A dead. What is that? Oh. What? This is the guy that uh, kills Sigurd, right? Maybe I just didn't see the moveset. Maybe maybe I have killed him more times, but I don't actually see those attacks when I do. Because usually he kind of dies by himself. Oh my god, the hilt. The hilt. No. Oh, that's... Yo, that's brutal. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's such a scary attack, dude. Oh, no. No. Yo, get away, get away. Please jump, thank you. I think this might be worse than the alligator. Oh, please get in there. Thank you. Yes. Definitely would not be fun doing that twice, I'll be honest. We got the Twinkling Titanite. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait a second. Did he just, he just parried me and then ate me? What? <laughs> I think the war pick, uh, it's probably just a little better to stick with right now because I'm used to it. As soon as I get regular Titanite though, or if I find a Twinkling Titanite weapon that, that can be two-handed, then we are in business. Oh, this is actually a little bit better with the jailers, actually. Lightning bolt guy's scary. Oh, ooh. Wow. For this one, though, this one's a whole nother story. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's the that's the Valdo guy. That's the dude from the first DLC. He reminds me of Valdo from Soul Calibur, but if he was walking upright and got a very bad hunchback. Oh, dude, I don't know how I'm gonna make it through here. Oh, we're looking pretty good here. I don't know what happened with the other guy, but we're fine. Millwood dude is like right behind the rat. Oh, he's backing off. Okay. The Wolverine bird in Ariandel. Yeah, the, the Wolverine bird. That's a good way to put it. Edward Edward uh, Scissorhands. Use my Dark Souls 3 run from six years ago to help you sleep. Oh, that's amazing. That's why we have to have the medicinal tag. Because there is there is claims that match up enough, but it's a legend though. It's, it's not patented. It's not copywritten. And there's an asterisk beside it with fine print. We can say it though. Oh, we don't have a, a sniper over here. That's a really easy lead up to the staircase. Wow. <laughs> that's much better than normal. We can actually kind of chill here. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Okay. More jailers, the butcher knife, a mimic. Oh no. So I'm going to just get the shortcut if I can. Oh, what the hell's in there? Whoa. Wait a second. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, this thing's bad. This thing's. Oh shit. Brave tender. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Wait a second, man. That's just nuts. I don't like. I don't like the the grave tenders. Ooh. It'd be so amazing if like the way to get in the DLC was that that guy was in the normal game and you jumped into his head, and it was kind of like the abyss. Lots. Okay, I know that we got the shortcut now, so we're fine. We can go back and check some items here. Mirror gloves. Ooh. Okay, that's not even a thing you can go through. What? <laughs> You'd be great as an audiobook reader, Spinlippy. I appreciate that. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't say no to it if it was a good book. Like that's, I, I like, uh, I like books that are cool, but like I don't listen to audiobooks personally. So me being on an audiobook would be interesting because then like narration and all that is, uh, it's, it's a little trickier than like if you're doing it like professionally. Okay, we got Vort, that's doable, but with very, very low damage here. This is worse than unupgraded Vort at the beginning of the game times two. So I gotta remember the second phase. I wonder if I can get a stagger on him before he jumps. This is really good music for Lord, actually. I like it. The room doesn't make any sense, but I like the music. So if he just dashes away right now, that's the most... Oh, never mind. One shot, nice. And there's the Pontiff Knight. And a dude in the DLC. Oh my god. The dog and the spinny guy. Please don't kill him. 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 No, they're gonna kill him, dude. No. Oh. Okay, he might actually just go back, though, now. He might be fine. I think that was enough dialogue. Let me just wait for a second. Oh, it lost the line of sight, apparently. That's so funny. It actually it, it would have canceled his dialogue, and it also would have probably pissed him off. Titanite shard. Nice. Okay, yeah, there's definitely Titanite in this area. Mage build on randomizer. You know what? Actually, if I do um, triple the enemies, triple randomizer and triple the enemies, then I'll definitely do a mage build. Because there is still... Like, we haven't gone past double the enemies in the games. And I want to do... It would be cool to do, like, the maximum, but the computer might not be able to handle it, though, because it's already having issues with double on this. So I think double the enemies, uh, fog gate item and enemy randomizer with a mage would be cool. 
But yeah, I want to definitely get like super wacky with some of the combinations. Another Titanite Shard, that's really good. Okay, yeah, we're in the right place then. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh, another Titanite Shard, I think we, we did it. We got the, uh, we escaped the, the purgatory of upgrade materials. Okay, Madeira with a plus two in this arena. Can I remember how to do this? Oh, I keep missing, dude. Okay, Warpex not the greatest. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, okay, he didn't do enough damage, we're good. Very lucky there. That, that, we'll see that. <laughs> I kind of want to try this, man. Ah. Oh. I think we should upgrade though. Let's up, let's just upgrade the weapon. Let, let's we'll stick with the war pick. The war pick's not the best choice for this, but we're just gonna stick with it. We're gonna upgrade and we'll try that again. Oh, this is so nice. Ah, oh, just spam the button. Upgrade. It's cool. Okay, so we're short on chunks, but we might actually be able to buy those. Or, you know, I'll I'll find them soon in the area that we're in. Yeah, it's all good. Plus eight works. She had Karthus Way Mark, dude. I was making a joke about that. Okay, we have a buff now. And then Cornex is over here, so we'll, I don't think he's gonna have Pyromancy Flame. Wait, how did we get Grey Rat? That doesn't even make sense. Wait, what? Oh, that is Cornex. Wait, he's wearing Grey Rat's hat. I was like, what the hell? I'm so confused, dude, because the people switching the outfits. Oh, and then, yo, he sells all of the, oh, dude. I'm, I'm pissed right now. <laughs> it's only one, but like, we could have had a bonus here. So I'm gonna grab the, these two. Oh, I need to get out of there. This is bad. No. <sighs> dude. Oh, that's not good. Man, just to, I should, really should have opened that door. I can't believe I didn't do that. Oh my God, he's floating. Forgot about that one. It's a little bit lucky there. There we go. That's the attack we want. Just keep doing that. So yeah, Midir is definitely scale, 100%. Unless I just don't remember that this game actually like has not as strong bosses when it comes to health. I'm pretty sure it's scaled though. 192 does not seem like base HP. So at least we have that. I wonder if he's gonna go phase two. Oh, he is. Oh my, yo, that scared the hell out of me, dude. Oh my God, that made me jump a little bit on the inside. Oh, that's freaky, dude. That was so freaky. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> dude, there's been some like jump scares in these. I can't, I can't remember some of the stuff. Oh man, that's really funny. How can Midir survive a fall like that? I think he actually broke his ankles and that's why he was just chilling. He's like, I, I, I can't move. And he didn't have life alert at the time, so it didn't work out too well. All right, we're gonna go to Pontiff Arena and just continue. Song's 4-4, but you cannot feel life. You play consistent 16 notes on your kick. So what technique are you using, Krusty Krab? Are you using heal up or heal down? And also when you're doing it, what muscle in your leg uh, feels the burn? I think that's probably the easiest way to figure out exactly the best strategy because there's multiple ways you can do it but there is like very economical ways those questions are important and then the angle of your actual leg so if your throne height is specifically making a 90 degree angle minimum that's pretty good but you don't want it less than 90 degrees unless you're again doing ankle or peel down jazz kind of stuff and you're just chilling maybe it's not as and maybe again that's if you're experienced and shit like i would never say play at a uh, a lower angle than 90 degrees that'd be kind of weird you want to be just above that if you can. The higher, the better for um, like heal up fast BPM, and then further back. Like so, you want to leverage the um, the 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 point of which the heal plate and the uh, the end of the board connect is like the most uh, leverage specific, specific, yeah, specifically. Also, probably look up information for people that are better than me too, if you if you can, because I'm not amazing at this stuff yet. I'm still getting better, but that's what I know so far. Play heal down in your shin muscle burns. Yeah, I would say heal up is your your best bet. So make sure you're sitting a little bit higher up if you have to. If you don't, if you can do heal up comfortably, spring tension is going to be super important. So you want to have your leg completely dead, and you need the pedal to not fall completely to the the floor. So it, it should support your foot, like the weight of your leg, pretty easily with the spring tension. That means it might have to be a bit tighter if uh, you feel that it's just sinking really easily. But yeah, I had to adjust a lot of shit. I still adjust stuff constantly just to test different things, but a lot of adjustment. And then like, I also have a chain drive pedal and direct drive. So like the timing in between them is different. So I have to actually account for that mentally when we play Clone Hero, we use chain drive. It's not like a crazy difference after you get pretty decent, but then like there is a little bit of a delay. It's like just slight. Got it. kind of de-rust that. Play heal up too, so much more natural for you. Yeah, for, for me originally, like I, I started ankle or heel down ankle technique and I'm decent at ankle technique by default. Like I have pretty strong um, calves and shins, but like my calves are not as um, specifically trained for control because of that. It's typically when you play like, um, think of like Rock Band, if you were playing on that like shitty pedal, 
you're doing you're not doing heal up on that you'll break it in half even the metal one you'll probably crack through the plastic so you, you definitely need to do ankle for that and ankle's not good enough um even for doubles unless you're really a madman and even then you're not going to get like really good attack or velocity on it unless you do the heal up like if you really want to be punchy oh we got soul ascender already dude oh my we beat the game guys oh boy wonder if he's gonna have two health bars Ooh, double roll nice Ooh, scary you can actually be behind that though so it's not too bad i just forgot about that until like it clicked in two seconds later curve sword no no curve sword. we got pretty good rng here so soul ascender i definitely have put the most time out of anything on a game into this thing and i also did it no roll sl1 almost to completion so i know like even some of the spacing strats on this like just running and shit and we don't have the hills so like the environment can't kill us here unless i'm up on like one of these posts which is pretty nice usually just the hill that he, um is in the fight is really bad okay we do have phase two this is pretty crazy let me get it oh no oh. okay damage isn't crazy crazy bad there stagger heal still got the lightning timing nice it's probably the worst attack he does next to the curve sword stuff and then bad position spins on the javelin yeah, I might be able to stagger here. Ooh, grab with the lightning mix-up? Crazy. No. No. Careful. Oh, that was a really weird short jump. I kicked him by accident. Uh, all right, the lightning could still kill me if he gets it off. I got him. Nice. Ooh, the full Soul Ascender. Like, the legit full Soul Ascender right there. Let's go back to Yorm. Do I have Cat Ring? No. I have the the Faith Ring though. It's cool. So we can actually boost the Faith set. Or oh, that's the sorry the Intelligence one. Never mind. Cool. Oh. Okay, we're gonna run all these enemies up to here. I'm gonna pop an Ember to have more health. I'm literally just gonna take my weapon off completely, and I'm just gonna put on some armor as well. We're 40.2 percent. We might as well just go pretty heavy here. Apple Gauntlets 62. Okay, I'm gonna take off the off the headpiece. This might help us a bit. Oh, I got Clorinthy Ring too. They're not even leaving this area they're stuck okay we can still use the witch's hat man i want to use the xanthus crown though that's so funny yeah this is the new fashion right here <laughs> oh what is that oh yo, what that, it just keeps going it keeps going dude it doesn't stop man nameless is going crazy and we still have to fight him in phase one outside of this oh that, that damage is pretty low too because it's the arm scaling right oh no guys this might be really hard Okay, maybe I can make him like loop the thrust attack a bit. I remember I used to be able to do that. There we go. Yep. Keep it coming. Oh, oh, the stagger, nice. If he goes airborne, I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Oh wait, that's splitting. That's splitting, and then he does this. Nice. Okay, I remember the timing on that. It's almost like Godric's uh, follow-up slam when he breaks the ground. It's so instant. Then, oh, this lightning's the one that's really bad. Forgot about that. Okay, so yeah, he does actually technically have like a bit of a phase two here, because technically you'd have three phases normally with the move set switch up. Ooh, a little spooky. Can't remember if I got any more healing items or anything that I could use right now. I don't want to check though. We don't have a lot of time. <laughs> there we go wild yeah we can definitely do this just that that was uh that was crazy this looks so fun you love randomizers but you never tried level one i would say if you're gonna do a level one run do a level one run normally and then if you try this combined and you can actually do it even after only completing a level one run you probably were made to do this and you might be the most legendary player in the next like five years <laughs> oh dude i rolled too soon there yeah airborne attacks and that slam if you're not behind him is rough Oh, that was so early. Damn it. Nameless is the gatekeeper right now, damn. Oh, follow up. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Okay, I want to ember on this one just so we can survive. I think there's still going to be some one shots. Oh, I definitely got to ember. So we can get a stagger maybe. This is really good RNG. Oh, that was fraction stamina there. That was like nothing. Just a pixel. Oh, so lucky on the angle there. 
Oh, the stomp! I haven't seen that for a long time. I don't think we actually even got that before. That's the first time. Nice finish. We did it. Woo. That was crazy. Now, fighting two Nameless Kings at once. I don't know about that. We te well, technically we did, but just level one. I don't know. <laughs> Man, I really need to get that Karthus Flame Arc working. I need to get the Pyromancy Flame. <laughs> Camera on phase one. One can die a thousand deaths. Oh, dude, especially when he's getting stuck on the fountain here. And you're like, is he attacking there or here or over there? Anywhere. Where are we facing? I can't see. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Well, imagine that would actually, like, work. Oh, no. Dead. Worst boss in arena to combo in this. Um, if there's a double replacement, if the Grave Tender and the dogs and everything could be replaced by multiple bosses, just volume-wise, that's already the worst right there. Um, and then single boss replacement in a certain arena would probably be, I want to say, Gale in a very small room, or maybe Medir in a small room. I really need to be able to see Nameless, but I can't lock on and then just have the Pilgrim Butterflies kill me. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy, man. That's absolutely crazy. Yeah, I'm dead here. It's really unfortunate. Nothing you can do. <laughs> Instant. Dude, if he does that attack, that's terrible. Oh, see, if he was like a little lower, I could hit him when he goes away on that and we get a stagger build up. Ooh. Oh, that's crazy. Flying, so we're gonna want to go over here. Dude, that's so hard to get away from. It's like instant, man. Okay, so we're looking for lasers and just bombs on the pilgrim. There we go. Head's in a good position, yes. Get the reposts? No reposts, fine. Set up another stagger? No, dude! Ah. Oh. oh, man. Right through the head. Ah, <laughs> uh, dead. It was fun. Maybe the corner? Nope. Through the wall, too. Oh my god. See, if we could use the one-handed moveset of the warp pick, I feel like this would be a little bit easier as well. Oh, wow. No. Oh, yep. Yeah. No! <laughs> I was like, yep, yeah, and then it was delayed. Oh my god. No, dude! Even with the... Even when I got good RNG and I actually make all the hits. Oh, no. Streamer, why don't you hit the toes? Well, if I do, I'm dead. Like, see, like, he's gonna do the attack anyway. This doesn't even matter. That's crazy. I'm already dead. I should probably quit out on this part. Save time. Lasers? Please don't fly. Oh, that was really close! Oh, my God. Uh, ball's coming back, and then we got a circle around foot. Oh, he's flying. That's that's rip, dude. That might be rip. Uh, please, please survive. No! No! Ooh! Okay, so I'm gonna get away from here because his feet are gonna be there. Oh shit. Just went right into it. I hear something. Uh, this is bad, this is bad. Yeah. See, like that kind of shit can happen, so it's like you can't see it. Oh, we got the big. Yeah, I can see it out of the corner, but I was like, what direction? No. But the audio made it sound like it was coming from the other side. Oh my god, dude. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. Okay, that was nice. Made the space there. Starting to kind of understand where we need to be. Oh, got the, the the really cool hit there. Nice. Please don't fly. Oh, one more, guys. One more. Don't fly. Don't fly. Don't fly. Don't fly. This is really rough, guys. Ugh. Yo, it's coming. Oh, boy. I can see it. I can see it. Is it two? Is it two of them? It's not two. It's not two. Okay, we're going over here just in case. Lightning. Yeah. Okay. Got him. Deleted. He just disappeared. Oh, that was a sweaty hands fight, man. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we're running archives, man. We're just going for this. Got lava crab over here. I'm just gonna go over this way. I'm not even gonna look at items yet, just because uh, I need to get out of here. I need to get the bonfire. Please don't roll. Please don't roll. Please don't roll. Please don't roll. Thank you. Okay, that was a little bit easier than normal. Unless we got lucky. Like, I almost want to um, find a way to create a, a like a regular skateboard that has the the quality of the bearings or like the the you know the endurance of a long board without actually having to have different size wheels but i don't know if it, you'd be able to achieve that as easily without having it more be like a cruiser board don't kill me no yo no oh, that's crazy 
That's insane. We gotta run that again. Okay, so he's... What, what, what kind of weapon is that that he's got? <laughs> oh, that's the weapon from Wilhelm, actually. That's Wilhelm's blade. Uh, it's time to become the ocean man and haunt my boat. <laughs> Play harder. I'm trying. This one's a... Like I said, it's a hand sweat run. <laughs> Slippery controller run. Gale or Frida? We've already done Frida. Gale I haven't seen yet, though. If I see Gale as twin princes and there's a second enemy, that's like pretty much it, man. I don't know. There's some combinations of two enemies that I'm not sure would be feasible. Like, you could you could do it, but the pace of it would be crazy if there was no scaling. <laughs> Especially with plus eight. We're gonna dip out of here, survive. Oh, man. The, their equipment's so much worse than the normal stuff. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, well, at least we got the shortcut. I'm just gonna grab whatever would be in place of the hunter's ring. Just trying to remember if it's right here, if it's further back. Oh, yeah, wait. Yeah, that. so that would be normally hunter's ring, I think, and then... I believe there is Titanite up here. Oh my god. Dead. <laughs> the combo. We should actually, it would be cool if we had a channel points bet and a, you guys could pick from a pre-designated list of names of what the next thing would actually be. I think I'm going to have to find something to set that up for the next run, whether it's even channel points or just on the bot. So we could do betting based on not if I win, but specifically what even gets randomized. I can hear something. Oh, I thought that might have been like a, a bow being drawn or something. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> What's good is me trying to make it through archives in one piece. I think we've gotten killed at least like three times on the way over here. Ooh, okay. Last lift right here. And then we actually have an item. We have the slab that's underneath the elevator, whatever that would be replaced by. I would say soul arrow in place of hunter's ring is pretty bad because hunter's ring normally would have helped me right now. It would have actually allowed me probably to use some more weapons. Oh, that's a crazy, crazy combo. You barely realize this is randomized. Been watching all these random spawns thinking it was normal. There's actually more than one person that's come in thinking the same thing, or at least they, they said that they didn't notice it was randomized. That, that's pretty, I guess they did a good job with the mod, but at the same time, that's kind of scary though, because I immediately am just like, what the hell's going on here? Oh my God, we got Dancer. Okay, at least we saw Dancer, that's nice. What if we can do the speedrun strat? Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go with the regular. We probably could have got it. Because she went the right direction for it. Gotta get a first try on this one. Maybe there'll be a phase two as well. Oh, stagger nice. Don't like the front move set here. Okay, we got behind quick enough. Ooh. Oh, I don't I didn't see the uh, the puddle appear there. I wonder if it actually was even active. Oh god. Ugh. Okay, I'm getting a little janky. I gotta get a good placement again. Is there a phase two? Oh, dude, yeah, there is. Oh, that's a pretty crazy intro. Imagine it's something actually really hard after this though. Oh man, I have to upgrade the weapon a bit or like go search for some items. Imagine it actually is just Princess still. Why is he looking like that? He looks like he's made of like melted metal or something. He's metal, metal Mario over here. Gale, you insist. I don't want to see Gale after this because I haven't fought for Gale for a while. Gale in this arena also could be very bad if the lightning's possible. If that's not a feature of the arena, but it's actually like a thing that he, it's attached to his character model. Imagine just the random lightning just striking you. It's a one shot no matter what. This is Lorian in his all new spring chrome fashion. Whoa, who is that? Is that Walnir? Oh shit, dude, breath. Oh my god, no. This is bad. Uh, safe spot. That's a crazy mashup there. And I can't even break a bracelet yet. Once he crawls, it's like, I don't even know, dude. There's not room. Maybe he'll rebound. I'm like actually concerned about this. Because the summoning of the skeletons, the bone mills, right? Oh, this might be a really bad one. The fact this hasn't broken already is just super scary. <laughs> like that's a, okay, wait. Maybe I just do R2s. It's in the ground now. He's, yeah, he's kind of just chilling in the floor. Uh, where are you? I can still hit him. Uh, breath. This might be fine. I don't know if his, like, aura kills you, even though it's invisible, when you get so close on this one. Oh, sh dude, he got fucking delay there because the ceiling. Oh, he's glitching, dude. Oh, no. I don't know what's going on. Uh, let's swipe. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's calling them. He's calling them. I need a break, dude. Oh, this is bad. Oh, there's skeletons. He's got his sword now, too. Dude, this is... This is just bad. This is so bad. <laughs> he, he's got friendly fire, at least, but... And there's a bone wheel. And there's a bone wheel. 
There's two of them. Oh my god, dude. He's doing breath. Ah. Man, this is so freaky, yo. I can't even... I can't even imagine, dude. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Oh, AoE, I'm dead. Nowhere to go. Oh, wait, never mind. There's more space. Okay, I was wrong. I could go sideways. Maybe it glitched. I have no idea, dude. There's a lot going on here. Uh, skeleton's dead now, maybe? That, that bone mill situation was so lucky, too. The fact they got caught on each other. That is, like, literally the worst thing ever, man. Even regularly. That's very bad. Okay, we got that. Let's go get the last one. Where's it going, though? Slam. Oh, no, dude! No! Oh! <laughs> That's pain, man. That's so much pain. That's a crazy fight. And we got lucky too. Ah, oh, that could have been it. That's a super, super scaled up wall near there. Oh, he's got red tear stone, right? But I gotta have Crystal Sage's soul? Oh no, that's crazy. Okay, well he's got a ring that's actually pretty good. Whatever's in place of Osiris first, just to see, because there's more items that way and then there's Champion Gundir. So we could just take a break from that for a second because that's that's a lot, man. Javeli, good luck on enclosed space wall near. Thank you so much for the, the good luck. I need it. If we don't get luck like we just did again, we might be on there for a while. Because the only thing that can change on that is that maybe I find a Pyromancy Flame and I can use the Karthus Flame Arc for the whole fight. And then, you know, maybe I can buy some buffs and then there's the chance that we find chunks. We got half light on this? No. Okay, we just have to run away from this guy though, because he'll die. Got old Mr. X over here. This is what Mr. X looks like once he's aged a little bit. Got a lot taller. <laughs> a little bit hunchback. It's possible like that half light got replaced by another enemy as well, but I'm not sure if that's actually gonna be like him in a different armor suit with different weapons. Yeah, it looks like he's he's a little. Oh, that's the that's the painting guardian. Oh, dude, it is half light. That's so bad. It's not a bad arena for it, but just, ugh. Oh my god. See, I'm definitely not gonna go and do that. That's not happening right now. The dude from Ring City, yeah, it's the worst boss in the entire game. Worst boss that's ever been in uh, Souls games in general. Literal garbage, man. Go back and do Grave Tender. Maybe he would give me a Pyromancy hand or something. I don't know. Not better chaos. I think Half Light is worse than everything. Got these ones too. Almost dead. Oh, Red Tear Stone set up. Now we just need Crystal Sage Soul so I can turn it into Ludlitz so I can actually get it. <laughs> Very silly to do that. I don't know why I did that. It was not a good idea. Oh, who's, who's getting called in? Is it actual Great White? Well, it is big guy. Oh my god, dude. This is a brutal fight. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. Okay, yeah, this might be like a later one too. I think I could do this. It's just like, you gotta get Wolf stuck on something. And then lock in some backstabs with the two hand. He might actually be able to get stuck though. Thank God there's like, what? Oh God. Oh, we got steel protection plus three. That's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna put that on right now. So this actually might, it might help us not get one shot on Molnir. This even be done still? <laughs> I think it can. Oh yes, dude, first try. First try, man. Ah, oh, that's sick, man. Okay, that's really cool. Cause I, on the actual record runs and stuff, dude, I would fail that. Like once we get in position for it, essentially. That's really good. It was just the angle, I guess. But yeah, that's crazy. I wonder how many other skips I can still do. Like, that one's definitely not a crazy one, but I wonder if there's a potential for Farron or Partake still. I remember Farron, like, Farron particularly, even on the best possible day in general, my success rate on that was, like, probably 30 or 40%, and that was, like, peak. Okay, let's get these guys maybe back down towards this area if I can survive. No. Oh, my God. Okay, what do we have here? It's probably still Wilhelm. I might be able to get him to fall off, though. Oh no, he's got a big time, weapon, time dude. Again. Oh no, flame, uh, that's scary. Wait, so how does he have a different weapon, but then Half Light doesn't have a different weapon? I guess because he's a boss, maybe? I thought NPCs still counted the same, though. Oh. <laughs> I almost saved it with the quit out. <laughs> dude, that's crazy. He killed the rat, too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take a crack at the jump over here again. Can I? Oh, no, never mind. Save the animals. <laughs> We're still here, Turco? Oh, of course, man. Of course. We haven't even been here for that long. This is where the run actually gets spicy. I was even thinking, oh yeah, this run could be 12 hours or less. Nope, maybe not. 
Wow. Oh, so close! No. I, I survived for a while. I think we get we can get that. I trust you learned your lesson. <laughs> Yo, can you can you fall? Can you fall after? Maybe. That's an insane attack. Whatever weapon that is. And then you actually rhyme. <laughs> Oh, Blue Waffle, that was the, yeah, see, that's exactly why I don't Google things when people tell me not to. Because when I was a child, I saw that. That was terrifying, dude. Wasn't even that bad. See, if you say it's not that bad, that's concerning. <laughs> they gotta make it seem like, it's like, you don't even want to know because most people can't handle it. Most people don't have the ability. Easy. Oh, see, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. How does it not annoy you to die so many times? I don't have like an attachment to the game where it's like, I think this is it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this again. It's gonna ruin everybody's life. The game's not real. It's actually super fake. And the only thing that's real about the game is the experience that we're simulating through the game as the pixels and then the challenge that I'm imposing mentally on it. But there's nothing real about this. It's, it's never gonna be real. It's never gonna be able to be emotionally justified enough to matter that way, but if I play the fool's game and actually give in to the emotion of it, then I basically, I, I, I lose the game on myself, essentially. Now, if this was like a tournament, and there was a lot of stakes, and like a lot of people were enjoying it, and wanted to see like a really good performance, then yeah, maybe I'd be a bit, I'd be, probably be a little bit more bummed if I knew that I practiced and I didn't do well, and that's happened a little bit. <laughs> Weed IV, that's hilarious, dude. <laughs> I, don't, I hope no one ever actually does that, that might be dangerous. <laughs> Very mature Rado. I feel like that's just the kind of a common thing, though, that most people that play these games, especially like more in increasingly more and more now, if you notice, like people are just better at not freaking out these days, in my opinion, that do these kinds of things. Like before it was a little bit more Wild West, but most streamers that are like good at this stuff, they don't really freak out that much unless it's for entertainment value. I believe. And like that's their personality. right? Oh, you know what? Actually, before we even die, let's go get the bonfire because we could still maybe get hit through the floor. Forgot about that. Oh, dude, or that guy. <laughs> Assuming that this is an area where if we find Titanite, it's probably going to be chunks because the scaling of the, the game and everything. All enemies are Madeir and Gale Run. <laughs> All right, well, before that, just, just to make it a little bit easier on the eyes, I might just take a chloroform, knock myself out, get somebody to take my eyeballs and put needles in them, and then wake back up again, but have an anesthetic going into my bloodstream That's that's just you know, strong enough where I don't notice, and then, like, they can just tell me the instructions. That sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> Did you just describe Ohio? Well, okay, o Ohio is basically pretty, it's, like, much more chill than you'd expect, but it definitely looks like Kaled. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing I know about Ohio for a fact. Like, it's basically Kaled, but it's not as bad as you think. There's definitely no dinosaurs that have um, bird bodies and heads and stuff like that. Forgot your autograph, first guy to ever do all bosses DS3 in under two hours. I don't think anybody would ever get an autograph from me, to be honest. Like, I've been to TwitchCon, I've been to other events before as well, where I've met a lot of people in person that are streamers and people that watch the channel. And no one's ever asked me for that. I would hope that, like, people would just kind of take it as, like, I literally am just the same. I, I, I'm a fan of the actual game, like you are. I just did really silly stuff. That's pretty much it. I could see how having the autograph would be cool, but I would actually really want to ask them, like, a very important question. Like, I'd, I'd find a really good question, and I would love for someone to film that so I could remember it by having the video of me asking them that, or even just record the audio. That would be cooler to me than an autograph, because then it's like it's a genuine interaction that you've been curious about, but then like they give you the time and you can at Let's least have something to take from it. Love in the fashion sense. Yeah, it's a, it's a little cold though for this. I might have to put on a shirt here. Can we even do that and then not be over the equip load? Like, I already have Havel's ring to be able to even wear on any of this stuff. Yeah, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna stick with that and then do the... Steel protection plus three. Dude, we got demon princes. Dude, it's frightening that we're only doing this much damage. I guess. <laughs> it's kind of funny that also it's really cold for them right here. I feel like they should have like a debuff. This is frozen. Also, is one stuck somewhere? They might be stuck. So now they're switching around. The other one might be able to escape. So they switch their moveset. I think we got kind of lucky on this one. This reminds me of, uh, anyone played Banjo-Tooie before? Where there's like the, 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 the mountain of ice and the mountain of fire? Chili Willy and Chili Billy. Oh dude, like I think we actually could get this fight, I just gotta be smart about this. If I can remember the moveset of the, uh, the big boy. We also don't have any human pine resin right now or anything that could actually do a lot of damage on him. 
Nice. Okay, there we go. I don't know which one we're gonna get because I just killed them and I fr I didn't look at which health bar. But I oh, actually I can't even remember which one is which. Below, I'm pretty sure is a uh, meteor. If I had to guess, but I guess we'll see. If we have laser, it's gonna be a lot easier. Meteor might be hard. Oh, we didn't. E oh yeah, that's sketchy. We didn't even get the the pre damage on the startup there. So you can throw an alluring skull for these things if you guys didn't know. It's pretty funny. I gotta stagger him now. That's the only thing that sucks. So I don't know if I'll be able to. Yeah, that killed me. Dude, this is crazy. Below is meatball, pain is laser. Okay. So I was kind of right about that just randomly. Okay, so we're gonna get pain for the laser for this one. That's gonna be a lot easier. It's so funny that the guy's stuck from where he spawns. Okay, I don't wanna get hit through the wall, but I'm kinda trapped there. Get the. Yes! Oh, we locked it. We didn't. I didn't lock into his head. Oh, I thought I got the repose. Yes. Here we go. What's the other demon doing? He's, <laughs> he's he's basically playing Super Mario 64, and he's on the endless staircase, but he hasn't gotten the stars to get in there yet. Okay, so at least now there's a chance. Damage is so bad. 79 damage, dude. This is a really bad attack. Ooh. Scary. So he's doing the laser now. Still put the orb there. Oh, but he's going backwards, though, so we have to go in there. Forgot. Oh, this isn't... No, this is the same one. Oh, no. <sighs> Damn it. And he might he might even be stuck. That's really cool. I'm just going to eat right now, then. Well, well, we got a break. All right, let's finish this fight off. Oh! That scared me. I thought it was something else. He's doing it again. Okay, running away might not... Oh, here we go. Nice. I was going to say running away might not be as easy, but we staggered him. He's going to try to do it again, I think. Yep. So, I really have to be careful dodging this this time. <laughs> I wonder if the wall can block it over here. Dude! They... Yo, that's crazy. Most of it got blocked. Aw. Oh. That's the best attempt so far. Okay, so if we go back to Demon Prince again, I'm gonna try the skulls and just use all of them in the one fight. Because I think that's the only thing in the game that's left as a boss that we could really be helped with, right? I could have used them to get through some of the areas a little bit easier, but that's kind of like a, a toss up because the enemies, not all of them are gonna go for it and I could still die from some of the scary enemies. So yeah, saving it for him would have been good. I don't think he has the effect on him on this arena for whatever reason. Because I would have been dead right there, I think. I might be able to actually chill, like, way back here. Oh, wow. Okay. So we figured out a way <laughs> to get a little bit more damage. I wonder if his elbow can kill me. Now I kind of feel silly. This was a lot better than I thought it was. It's because the effect doesn't exist. I was trying to play it as if it was a normal fight. This would never happen, though. Like, we, we can go behind him, dude. What happens if we go... Wait. Should I check? Oh my god, dude. You can see... Whoa, that's freaky. That's freaking me out. I don't want to look at that anymore. That's giving me like weird feelings. <laughs> that's really creepy. Dude, he's outside of the arena. <laughs> we got him. Nice. He likes his brother a little too much. What? Wait. What was going on there? <laughs> there was a dude coming out of the ground, but he was dead though. Not expecting to see Walnir's cockix today. That was so scary. <laughs> <laughs> and it was even creepier because like he doesn't have a hitbox there too, so it's like they just didn't account for that. Like no one's ever gonna go and hit his hit his tailbone or whatever the coccyx bone. Oh, I have the soul of a crystal sage now. Did we just get that. Okay, so we got red tear stone. Nice. That's really good. This is Black Friday in the U.S. right here. Walmart doors opening. You just have someone walking through you as if like you're not there, pushing you. It's like I don't even need to push you with my hands. I'll just walk straight and like everything will get pushed out of the way so I can get that deal on that LCD TV. This guy's hat looks kind of like a mushroom now I think about it. Like what if we discovered that every time you put the Xanthus crown on that your head turns into a mushroom and then we just need someone to debug the game to remove it while it's still on the character, at, in te you know, like technically, right? That'd be amazing. Become a mushroom man. Oh, Frida again? Is this Frida phase one though? Oh boy. So this shouldn't be as bad as the one for Deacons. Oh, I forgot about that. She's she's going for it. Where is she? Anytime! Okay. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, that's, that's a little scary. I think phase one's harder than phase three, dude. I'll be honest. It's There's just not as many backstab opportunities, it seems like. Unless I'm literally just playing really bad right now. I don't know. 
Ooh, rip. Damn, that's gonna be a longer one. Be very scary. You know, it's actually really like a cool idea I just thought of because this piano. I did the the Gwyn theme on guitar. Dude, I want to make like a jazz Gwyn theme. That'd be fucking awesome, dude. Gwyn theme, but like weird chord voicings, and then just you got like jazz drums behind it. That'd be so chill. It would almost kind of be like a, you feel like you're in like a like a jazz club or something, or like you're in the the lobby of a really cool place and then no one likes the music because they don't understand what's going on. But then they hear the plin plan, they're like, oh, is that, that's Gwyn. Like, I kind of like jazz now. We can gateway people into jazz with this. It's gotta use some chromaticism and some, uh, some really, really out there delivery, and then we're good. Nope. That, that could've got me killed if it actually let me do the backstab and she didn't back up. Could've got locked into like a nice combo there. Based on your damage and HP, you're supposed to backstab her 19 times. Oh, it's a simple task. We'll just, you know, it'll be maybe 2025 and then we'll win. Like the amount of erosion that'll happen to the landscape in the time, this won't even be a mountain anymore. Well, it'll be like a pit, basically. All right, hopefully there's no other phase. Oh, we got Drake Blood Gauntlets, nice. Okay, so that's the game beaten level one. Random enemies and items, but we're still going for everything. We gotta get all the, the stuff. So I'm gonna save the cutscene. I'm not gonna actually link the flame yet. Could go to Ring City and then just check Demon Princes. Because we've already seen where they are, so what could be in there, you know? I haven't seen Gale. I haven't seen Abyss Watchers at all. Uh, haven't seen Curse Rider Greatwood. <sighs> There's quite a lot of stuff we haven't seen. Keep oh no, I stumbled off the cliff. Time. Oh, it's over. You can't take fall damage. Wow, it's insane that dust actually allowed my ankles to not break, even though physics still apply everywhere else. I hope this enemy doesn't kill me. Okay, that's actually not even a joke. <laughs> that was in like the ACL right there. <laughs> Physics don't matter, the game isn't real. Yeah, that's true. Like, okay, ultimately we're gonna get to that as the solution for every single problem in the game. The game's not real, solves everything. But before that point though, if we're gonna like kind of take it as like a somewhat real fiction that we're just living in. It's own little fiction realness. I do need to stress how silly it is that you can't take fall damage in some of this stuff there, without a good explanation, right? There's no explanation that's good enough in my opinion. The safety circle? I don't I don't think the safety circle matters. <laughs> double jump, but you break your legs if you do, and you have to play the rest of the game in a wheelchair. I would say that double jump wouldn't break your legs. I'd say if you double jumped, <laughs> if you tried to double jump, it would just look like a regular jump, and then your legs would shoot out again, and you'd land straight leg, it'd fall back, and then probably like have a head injury of some sort. <laughs> like, like different types of broken bones that like take like literally the whole game to heal, and then also like torn, uh, torn muscles, tendons, ligaments, all this stuff. Bad joints where like your arm just doesn't swing with as much power because you didn't like do like mobility. And then also on top of that, the NPCs are like really, really greedy and they don't help you. Like they literally just try to like tell you the incorrect information so they can get your items and kill you. Okay, so I know we can check the items here at some point, but I'm just gonna go straight to Demon Princes. You don't have the angel trying to kill us, so that's nice. A little bit of freedom here. Weapon of choice are randomized. So all the items are randomized. I didn't start with this weapon by choice. It's not a bad weapon by any means. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I bait. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> they just got the broadsword. <laughs> As I'm talking about the weapon, that's so funny. Yeah, what are the chances that that's an auto drop at that exact time? That's that's just ridiculous, man. The odds of that are pretty slim. Yeah, now we got the actual good weapon for SL1, so I could use that if I get the upgrades. Oh, we got Pontiff as well. Nice. Okay, well, I'm gonna parry him. I, I'm so bad at that parry, like, or it's not even that I'm bad at it. It's just such a hard window to parry that you usually end up either dying or take a lot of damage and it still works. I thought that maybe I could get it that time, but the fact I keep trying tells me I've seen it once where it works. I don't know. Don't die. No, I forgot. That's so quick. Wonder if you'll be unfortunate enough to get Gale in a small room. That's the thing that probably will end this. <laughs> Gale in a small room or Gale with another enemy at the same time. Okay, I was going to try to parry that, but I don't think you can. Oh, that's, yep, yeah, dead. Oh, we can parry in this phase, too. I forgot about that. I don't know if I can switch to two-hand really fast, though. This hat's helping with the vision. It, it does block quite a few things. On Grave Tender, when I was parrying him, I couldn't see his sword sometimes. Oh, it's the stab attack. Okay, we can't parry that. I'm pretty sure there's, like, two of them that I can go for, but I'm thinking of the one that's just, like, the dash forward. Oh, that's Red Tearstone, I think. Oh, that one can be parried, too. Yes, yes. Just the timing's a little scary. Yeah, I'm not gonna play around with that health. That's not worth it right now. There we go. Ooh, he, he got stuck on something, I think. So yeah, we gotta do like a pr approximately another like eight of those or something like that. 
I don't even know how many. Oh, it's really good RNG. Nice. Ooh. Getting pretty lucky here. Just can't have him follow up. So I'm, I'm not even going to risk pairing the other attacks. I want to win on this one. Like, I know you can. It's been a while. Oh, okay. Perfect. Oh! Get out of there. Get out of there. Lock off. Okay. We're good. We're good. Oh, oh he's flinching. Nice. That's it. Nice, dude. Oh, don't jinx it. <laughs> Alright, that was actually still a little bit stressful, even though it wasn't Demon Prince's. The butt shrinked by a significant amount during that dangerous encounter. I think that if there was also coal in the same region as you just mentioned, it would probably turn into a diamond with the compression levels. I think the, the PSI on the behind would be enough to create diamonds at this point. <laughs> and the hand sweat would be enough to uh, potentially purify into water for a small village that has not seen rain since Toto. When he's talking about the, uh, the, the song. <laughs> So what I know that actually exists right now that we've opened up but not completed is Osiris is replaced with Half Light. And then I think that's it. I think that's the only thing we've opened that I haven't done yet that I can at least remember. I know Champion Gundy would be after that, so we can check that. But I want to wait until I have plus 10 for Half Light. We need some more ch uh, chunks. So, oh shit. <laughs> Which are not going to be achieved by falling off the roof there. Don't kill me. Oh my god, that was scary. Saved by the heal. Ooh, I want the item though. I feel like there's good replacements for the big dudes. Like these tree guys are kind of scary. Got some pretty, oh my God, dude, Mr. Krabs hanging out. Okay, let's get the first bonfire over here. <sighs> Doing some groceries for next week, purchasing many new whole spices and stuff to spice up the curry game. Ooh, yo, uh, what, it, what are the spices that you're getting? How do you make the curry? Cardamom pods and powders, garam masala, cumin seeds, some Indian specialty store finds. Nice, that's awesome. I don't, I never buy like the, the fresh spices or anything, but sometimes um, like I've known some people that will grow things and then they'll just give me them. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta up the spice game too. Is Madeira gonna be here? I still see him. I, Cause this is a scripted event on the bridge. Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. I forgot, oh, it sucks. And we were just about at the spot where we could have survived too. That's crazy. I thought it went the whole way. Oh my God. <laughs> Rip. Dude, is that like a hundred thousand? That's insane. What's your favorite from software game? At the moment, it's Elden Ring. I'm sure it's probably going to still be that for a while. Got Madeir in Tree Balls Arena. I did, so I've already seen Madeir. He could still pop up again, but it's it's probably unlikely that he will. And then I still have to kill Demon Princes and Half Light, but they're in first DLC and then also in the King's Garden. Okay, we got the shortcut finally, dude. So you can roll this. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And then I just need to literally do the leap of faith here. There's no sound for his fire, which is really weird because like, he's not actually randomized. That's just like a scripted event no matter what. What's in front of Half-Light? Or what's in place of Half-Light? Oh, we got Gale. Oh. I, don't, I haven't fought Gale for a while. It might just be the phase one, which is really nice. But then who replaces Gale, though? Okay, I'm going to pop the Ember and hope he doesn't kill me. Oh, he definitely tried to. I'm going to quit out, though. <laughs> I really hope it's not Gale Phase 2 after this. This would just be brutal, dude. I'm, a I'm actually shocked because I'm thinking like, man, how much... Wait, what, what damage were we doing on the run when we did damage less on this without RTSR? Like, that's just... There's mu there must be something I was doing. Or this weapon actually is just that bad, you know? Oh, that's scary. Oh. Camera angle went crazy. <laughs> oh, that, that was just like... I knew that like the timing on that, but that was like still... I thought I did not get the angle. The angle of the dangle was not proportionate to the heat of the beat there. All the stagger, thank you. Oh, deleted! We did it, guys. That's all it was. Get that plus 10. Nice. Aldrich is a fraud. <laughs> Aldrich is a pudding man that's eating Gwendolyn. He's a big pudding guy. All right, what do we get? Is the cutscene going to be weird? Oh, okay, wait, that's the same so far. <laughs> I was like, what's in the chair? Remember Lothric? He looked like he was made of chrome in the actual Twin Princess fight. For Frida, did you have three bosses? Uh, oh, wait. Oh, we might have not done Frida. Oh, we haven't, I haven't done Frida yet. I have to go back to Frida yeah. too. That's an, thank you for reminding me. Yeah, it's champion. I can see the eyes. Okay, like I, let me get the shield out. How did Gundir make it to the desert? It's funny that he missed me there too. Classic, dude. Oh, I might be able to get like a burrito here. I don't know if I could two hand and burrito. Oh, you can. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Sorry, I should have known that because I think there was a run where I had to do that. That's pretty cool though. That's a lot of time that it gives you. 
That was unfortunate because the proximity. <laughs> oh boy. We're becoming classic here with the, the runaway. It's never going to work. There we go. Okay, let's stop doing the burritos and just give, my, give myself a little bit more time to back up just in case. Is this attack? That was partial. That's crazy, dude. The stamina. <laughs> Red tier stone switch for the end, maybe? Possibly? Oh, no, I got greedy. I want to be fancy. Okay, I'll leave RTSR on in case he hits me into the, the range for it. Okay, we're backing up just in case. Floating. <laughs> okay, we got good RNG on that. Nice. One more. Beautiful. Is there a phase two, though? There is. It gets harder. Who's there? Oh, shit, dude. Old Demon King. Okay. Oh, dude. Old Demon King with crazy health. Oh, that's no fun. Okay, we're just going to bait the attack that we just punished for the beginning and maybe a select few other things. That's usually what I will do. Because he might one-shot. I don't know if he's scaled with damage. I wonder how far this ring goes, dude. Does it keep going? Okay, it fades. Nice. I wonder if the one that comes from outside in can reach me if I'm this far away. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh, meteors. Okay. I see what you're doing. I see, I see, I see. What are we doing here? Come on. Break the chairs. Wow, he can't break the chairs? That sucks. I can't believe this fight's this crazy with plus 10. Like, this this weapon's not as good as I thought it was. It's only decent for stagger, because I guess it counts as like an axe, but not great for damage. Even the battle axe would have been better. Let's see if we can get maybe three hits. Be a little bit easier. I try to play this a bit more aggressively, but I'll be honest, guys. Like, I don't know if you know about the glitch where you get stuck in his hammer. Oh, I thought he was going to slam there. That scared me. I can't even see how I'm sliding. I've done that tons of times. Oh, this is bad. Get away. Two swings. Ugh. And then we can hit him a few times, I think. Or once, maybe? Oh, he, he doesn't attack when he gets up, doesn't he? Let's, let's just let him get up. He might attack when he gets up. Is he just going to keep doing this? There's no way he just keeps doing it, dude. Why does he keep moving whenever I go near him? Only the arm, okay. It's like only the arm, they say, and then just boom, the whole map blows up. <laughs> this is where you leave in the comments. Streamer, you're supposed to know how to play the game. I've watched you do damage last. How do you not remember everything? There we go. That was a long fight, dude. Thank you guys for being patient through that. Now we're gonna go and do something wild. Okay, we finally got Twin Princess Phase 2. So we got the magic on this part. Their health isn't insane. But again, it's a multi-fight, so this might be crazy. Oh, I forgot he rotates a lot more, doesn't he? I wonder if he can do quick drop on this one. I haven't seen it even on phase uh, one princes where it's just Lorian. Does he replace Dancer? And that was not that bad because he didn't do the quick drop. And I feel like that's the only attack they can do right now that will actually catch me off guard a significant percent of the time. I'll put poison on just because, I don't even care. Let's just use it on something. Just in case. Oh my god, dude. No, that's a crazy fight. No way. Dude, Gale can be poisoned, though. This is Gale phase two. Oh, can I remember this, please? No follow up. I don't know if we'll hit him often enough to get poison. Oh, dude. Oh my god, that went over my head. That was. Yeah, I gotta remember this. Mix ups, dude. Got the quick load at least. And he follows that up sometimes, I think. I think I can attack out of these. Right there, I can attack. If he does crossbow and that, at the same time, that's very bad. And then far away, he's going to be more likely to do it quite a lot. That's safe. And he goes into this again. Back hand. And then you can make him thrust and, I think, miss. That's what I remember so far. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, this is scary. I don't like this. Okay, at least we're surviving. That's good. We're not get dying right away from the hits. And then this is one where he... Okay, he didn't do the thrust. Dude. Yeah. Didn't, almost bad angle, almost bad angle. No, please, no crossbow. Oh, okay, heal. He might actually, oh, I think he is gonna crack into phase three as well, because again, it's a halfway health thing, right? This is already the cutscene, Gale, we were talking about, oh my God. So I have to do that too. Can I remember it? <laughs> oh yeah, we can also just be very close and roll under that too. Very bad angle here. Uh, discs, dude, don't kill me. No crossbow again, please. Okay, Sigbrow would help right here, actually. Okay, no more rolling into that. This is spooky and useless. Spooky and useless is not good. Oh, no. Okay, don't follow up, please. Ah, oh, man. Oh my God, dude, that might've actually saved me there. So it should be that he transforms soon. 
Oh no. Oh, thank dude, the fucking stick. Yes, he is going. Oh, the lightning is in the arena, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my God, man. What's happening with this game? Oh, he's gonna disappear. Oh shit. And then he goes over here and then we gotta go there and just chill, yeah. Oh wait, I can space that one, yeah, okay. Forgot about that. Oh, dude, the fucking crossbow combo. Forgot. Please don't go invisible. Thank you. I don't like the lightning, dude. Please don't. Oh, he's going invisible. So dangerous. I don't like where the lightning landed. It's not nice. No thrust? Oh, yep. That's spooky. Ugh. I hate that attack now. <laughs> Was definitely fine from four. No follow up. Oh, it's a delayed follow up. Thrust. Overhead's fine. Oh, thank God. Okay, that'd have been so scary if I, <laughs> if I didn't kill him there. That that actually was insane, dude. That was that was legit insane. My hands are so sweaty right now. <laughs> Ooh, no way you got that first try. The fucking memory kicked in, dude. But, like, that was sketchy because there's a couple things I did where I could have killed him even sooner if I was a bit more confident on it. And I was about to make a decision that literally would have killed me earlier. Demon Prince in the same area. We got to go back down to there. Back to back. If I get Demon Prince first try, this is going to be the coolest run of all time, dude. Man, that was that was a lot. <laughs> okay, hope, let's hope the other demon gets stuck. Oh, he's not, dude. This is a regular fight. You have to be more aggressive if we get the wrong demon here. I wanted the laser. Oh, I got... I, wait, I forgot. While he's active, we fight this one anyways. What am I doing? Okay, let's see if we can get him stuck. Maybe if we run to this side. I don't know if that'll reach us. Unless he does the line attack. Glitchy critical attack. Okay, now they're both in this phase, which is kind of nice. So when he powers up, I'll have some opportunity right here. And then that's nice. Yeah, that's it, guys. Boom. I think that's phase one right there, almost. Stamina, though. Didn't have any stamina. The, dude, the placement was legendary, dude. Legendary placement. What the hell's going on? <laughs> We're on the Gale High right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, I gotta get the learned skulls ready for phase two on this for the fire. Oh, wait. If this is demon below, though, actually, we get the laser anyways, so we might, we might be fine. And I also didn't get the right demon for the phase two, so it was a little harder. I think if I chase the laser one down perfectly, like, we'll just be behind him the whole time. So it's only when he resets and does it again, I have to be, like, really ready for that. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. And then I'm gonna use a blossom. Get a position on the back. And then we'll do poison. Actually, I don't even think that matters. <laughs> Fire to keep you warm. They should be, like, not functioning in this. In my opinion. Oh, shit. Okay, he's against the wall, though. We're good. This is an easy laser. As I'm hitting the wall, I need to stagger on this. And then maybe another green blossom. There we go. Cool. Headshots. Crit. Blossom. R2. Might get another stagger before he does it again. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. I didn't mean to do that. This is good, though. Stamina. Ooh, okay, good angle. I kicked him in the head. That's hilarious. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I went the wrong way there. Oh. Okay, he's still on the wall. It's all good. So I think that actually saved us. The environment's kind of an advantage here. Because in their arena, he is on the wall sometimes, but not as often as he's been in here. I think that's it. Dude, let's see how many we can knock down in a row. Half light first try, too. That was great. That was a really good fight. I think I'm de rusted on this game enough if, like, the harder stuff went well. Wait, is there more? I can't hit the bonfire. It's glitchy. <laughs> Gotta do Madeir Bridge. I did actually do the Madeir Bridge, though. Oh, sorry. You mean I have to fight him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, the other one. The other one. Yes, yes. So any predictions from you guys of what's going to replace Madeir? The Tibia Mariner. Bronze, if Tibia Mariner shows up, I'm going to ban you from the stream. <laughs> oh, it's this uh, Stray Demon. That kind of sucks. I'm not great at this fight. I guess we don't have to lower the whole health, right? Oh my god. I haven't done this one too much, but yeah, this one's a little tricky. And we're on a bridge. He, his foot can push me off at any time. So can we get to a better area, maybe? He's gonna, he's gonna do boulder heave every time I run away, essentially. Yeah, that's really bad. Boulder heave again. Dead. <laughs> 
cheese him off the bridge. I don't think he can fall off. Like enemies have usually like certain parameters where they can't fall off most areas. So it would have to be something that they didn't account for. Cause I feel like he would have already done something weird, right? I can try, but like, where would we go? Could fight him down there maybe. Oh wait, that's not even the same area. I would have to, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this next one will be way easier. It's all good. This might actually be like where we're stuck for a while. I think that the whole the whole wave of hype from Gale and from Demon Princes are gone now. Can't dodge sideways for that that move. That's yeah, Boulder Heave is so bad. I don't even know what I can do there. Because usually when he does it, you can run around him. There's more space. I think he's gonna do it almost every time that we walk up here. Could run backwards. Oh, here we go. Nice. I'm just gonna stay in this area. Maybe get that over and over. So yeah, see how he's kind of floating off the edge right here? Nothing looks like it's gonna make him fall off. Oh, he's got a grab? What? Or something. Oh, wait! Oh, I saw him dip. I saw him dip a little bit. It might be possible, guys. Yeah, just keep doing that. Grab is insane. That's too strong for something early game, dude. What's the scaling? He's gonna throw me off? <laughs> that was great. One of the stepping attacks. Yeah, but you know what? I'll, I'll try to get him to fall down maybe or something like that. But the thing that's funny is if he falls down here and lives, then we still have to kill him. So it'd have to be like right on this spot. I think I'd have to somehow come over here and stand at this point while he's swinging and then not get boulder heaved before that. <laughs> oh, it's still swinging. Keep going. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh. Oh, that was close. It was actually close. I might have gotten it. I think he might he might be able to actually fall off this time. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. Keep going. Yeah, okay, I like this spot, but I should run back over here. Yep, just keep chilling there. Yes! How's it feel, dude? I want to watch you die on the bottom there. Finally. That was pretty funny. <laughs> okay, we got Osiris with Insta Dash coming up. Yep. Ooh, see, I called it. Oh, dude, the kneecap. Just scooting away. Oh, he's doing the center breath. Oh, stagger. It all looks nice and easy until the Insta Charge happens, man. Or like, again, a kneecap hooks you on like the wraparound or something. This fight's like, I actually don't really, I don't even dislike it. It's just trashy because of that, really. It'd be so much more fun if they made him harder, but then that wasn't a thing. I think that would be amazing. There we go. Ooh, head bonk with a thunk for the end. All right, let's go back to Half Light, I guess, because we just did Osiris. The best thing we can do after that is go to his actual arena, thematically continuing the adventure. <laughs> Only thing that sucks is the run back on this. Okay, he's calling the Painting Guardian. We can get a backstab. <laughs> We're not. Locked in. Almost dead. Oh my god. Hey, we have some pillars at least, which is good. This fight sucks. Boom. Walk right into it. Boom. Walk right into it. Heal. Yep. Gotcha. No heal. Boom. And then for Half-Light, I gotta remember how do we how do we do this? I think this is like the only boss in the game that I've experimented with more than Cinder. Like I haven't actually practiced him more, but I've experimented with so many different strategies, it's insane. Be able to get that uh that hitless run. Oh yeah, he summons another one, doesn't he? Yeah, there's the other painting guardian. Oh, don't get comboed there. Okay, now we gotta be careful. Run and run and run and boom! Run into me. I think I can trip him up on the the, the whole rolling situation by just spamming. Because the weapon's a little slower, so it kind of matches up. It's a little scary. Is he gonna heal? The bow is kind of sketchy, dude. Ah. I think we got that. Go for it. Oh, KO. There we go. <laughs> and then have Half Light snipe me at the end of it. Oh, God. Don't even dare heal. Oh, no. That's crazy. Oh, man. I almost got him out of the heal. Damn it. He's going to try to heal right here. Oh, on the sip, dude. Chilling, 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 chilling. No, no. The combo. Oh. God damn it. Dude. Shouldn't heal. No! Yo, I missed by a little bit because I didn't lock on. Oh my god, dude. I thought that'd be better. No! Dude, okay, stop doing attacks that are not feeling super, super calculated, man. Oh god. Oh, nice. That actually worked. But his body's blocking. Yo, imagine I died because his body didn't disappear. That'd be insane. <laughs> Like, I just got lucky that he didn't do the quicker bow attack right there, because he can. It's possible. 
Nice, that actually connected. Canning already now, yeah. But can this work right away? Nice. Okay, good, good head start here. Nice. Okay, we got a little bit more damage here too. I'm gonna go for the R2 again. Just lock into it, and then try to get away. Two, three, four, and then boom, dead. Okay, this is it, guys. Just gotta play good now. Have a little bit of a relief from that, and finish him off with the running attacks. Oh, that, whoa, that was scary. Okay, maybe no wake-up attacks unless it's a light one. It's getting scary. Yes! <sighs> it's okay, though. Half light that, so that's worth it. Oh my god, dude. Here it is. And this, the health is scaled, probably. Dude, and we got the NPCs, and they're, they're scaled. Oh, no. He can't go through the ground, either. Is this just phase one? Might not be that bad. Until that happens. be amazing if he could fall off. Oh wait, this is phase two, Greenwood. Oh my god, dude. That sucks. Man, Curse Rod Greatwood's never been more menacing. And I finally got to use Red Tearstone Ring, too. Oh! Oh my god. Ah! Fuck, dude. <sighs> uh, don't die to the stupid stuff in the water. Oh. Okay, we're in a good state now. He's got chill. Might want to play a bit more aggressive. That's kind of nice right there. I like that. And then his hand goes back over here. Just chilling. Just chilling. Just chilling. Just chilling. Don't grab. Don't get grabbed. Don't get grabbed. Yes. Chilling. We're chilling. I'm still chilling. I've been chilling, dude. Good proximity. Yes. Hand goes down. Yes. We got him. Okay, good. <sighs> that was a little more stressful because the enemies were just like crowded, man. Oh, they were... They were they were hard. That's insane scaling, too. Like, his health is insane <laughs> compared to before. Also, we got Abyss Watchers, dude. World I was hoping I could backstab. Okay, it looks like the Reggie is fighting the main one. That's good. Oh, I died. That was stupid. This is not a bad boss fight, though. I, I think that the funny thing is this whole arena is set up to run through and then plunge attack, right? So I'm kind of curious if, if we could actually kill them with a the plunge attack. Probably not like a scripted one. But, like, how much damage I would do if I jumped off of here. Like, it, would I live, too? Because I think that the only reason you live is because Wyvern has that animation. Also, I'm pretty sure these guys count as the boss. Like, 100%. I don't think there's anything else. Here, actually, you know what? Let's see. Let's see how far we can go with this. Let me run through and see what's going on. You've missed the plunge three times in a row. I think I've missed it more than that. I wouldn't feel too bad about that one. It, it sucks when that happens, but I have had my fair share of misses, too. Because there's kind of like a way to, to do it. You have to, you can't like overshoot it and you, you have to run off the edge, but you don't want to fall. You don't want to like slip and then fall down. Basically dead unless you hit the script or have a high health pool. Wait, you can survive that with a lot of health, really? Oh shit, wait a second. Oh yeah, we got phase two. Okay, yeah, you know what? That wasn't a good idea. Okay, we're just going to kill them and move on. I'll get all the items after or something. <laughs> Oh, he's still alive, dude. He's still alive. Okay, here we go. Distraction. Oop. Oh, that was a kind of a funny death. Wait, he, he came back immediately? What? Dude, get out of here. Why are you coming back? He, like, overlapped the respawn right there. That's weird. Dude, yeah, he, like, immediately comes back right here. Okay, this time he didn't. It looked like he was spawning back in. I think that'll be enough time, though. I'm pretty sure after this, one more boss, pretty easy. Unless it's just something ridiculous. <laughs> that Lothric Knight's patrolling, dude. Anyone watch Shogun? What is Shogun? Oh, wait, dude. I think I saw the advertisement for that on um, my buddy. Like, when I went on a trip, his TV had, like, a like a little preview, like an image for it. it was, it's like the Samurai thing, right? It was on his screen. I don't know if it's, like, the home screen or Disney or something like that. Brother to even mud. Got that lifted 4x4 four four in the mud, brother. Hell yeah. It is a samurai show? Yeah, the, the screensaver thing for it looked really cool. I was like, oh man, that might be worth, might be worthwhile. Remember when I did the grandpa voice? <laughs> back in my day, we used to walk up the staircase two times back and forward at the same time. But granddad, how can I walk up the stairs backwards and forwards at the same time? I only got two legs. Too damn bad. We got Aldrich finally. This is going to be pretty simple, I think. This is going to be pretty simple, I think. doing the strap from that video, the BRB. Oh my god. 
as long as you guys can make it that long. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, shit. <sighs> oh, God. Damn it. I've been on this for a little bit. It could happen right now. Oh, my God. Or it could not. Or I could die. It's Hobbs' fault, dude. I'm not buying anything. I literally don't know what's going on. <laughs> There's so many different things. What am I doing? No! Oh, I can't even do that. Throwing for content that's not even necessarily content. <laughs> oh, man, that sucks. I should've rolled. Aldrich looks cool in this arena. Dude, he actually is kind of hard in this arena, in all honesty. Run! Oh, dude, this might be good. If you, if you can keep doing that attack and then not do... Yep, yep. That's exactly what I wanted, yep. Dude, this is amazing. Good attack, okay. Oh, guys, we beat him. I don't want to say anything too soon, but I think we get it. We did it. Oh, one more. Yes. That was really hard. Wow. Oh, no. 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 Dude, what's phase two? Oh, shit. I, I thought it was over. I actually thought it was over, man. Oh, that's actually. I genuinely thought it was over. That's not good. Oh, shit. This is really bad. Oh, man. The, why do you how how yo how is this even doable how is this even doable dude oh can i i can't even do like the skip to kill him can i well oh, that's really bad okay i gotta think here oh they're scaling they're scaling thank god dude thank god oh boy <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> can we get it can we get it uh, imagine i could get like the what, the scripted thing Oh, I haven't done this in a long time. Oh, camera angle's getting janky. Oh, scaling's pretty good, I'll be honest. Yeah, this isn't a fight I normally do, normally. I like, I, I kind of, I do a skip on it, a speedrun skip. Oh, shit, get off. Get off the ground. Don't follow up, please. So apparently the fire can still hit my hand pretty easily. Oh, that's super scary. Never fun doing that. Oh, he's pushing me. Okay, okay. Oh, no! <sighs> That's fucked. That's actually bad, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go do Grave Tender in the meantime just to shuffle it up a little bit, just to take a break, because that was a lot. <laughs> it's not good, dude. So I was, I was like, maybe I can do the jump attack, and I hook onto his head, and it gives me a scripted kill, but that was still pretty good damage. It just sucks after that many attempts of Aldrich. Yeah, this is a little bit easier now. So not taking three hits to kill these guys. Nice. And I can parry Grave Tender. Oh, shit. I don't know if I need to, though. Probably could go for backstabs alone. Oh. Dude, that's a really good combo. Okay. I'll take that and then again, maybe? Without getting too greedy. Yeah, this is way easier. Dude, that's actually really good. I wonder if that's because we upgraded the weapon. I might be able to kill him before the wolf, dude. This might be a thing. I think that's the way to go about this. I just want the magic. Where is he? Yeah, if I can keep the wolf from zooming around the corner, once he does the dash thing, I think he might be able to get over to me. But Grave Tender, though. Will he, will he run still? This isn't too bad. Where'd he go? Is he stuck? Like, usually what I would do is I would try to go for the wolf because we have the luxury of being able to be hit and stuff, but this seems easier. Just need to make sure he doesn't do a combo of any sort. Oh my god. Like, Grave Terror is no longer doing the jump attack either. He might start to do it. I can't remember if he can. Did I beat the wyvern? No. <laughs> I died when it was at, like, what, 30% health left or something? No, dude. Don't die, don't die. Can't die on this. The word saying saying you died at 30% health triggered the wolf to go Ultra Instinct there. Can we be nice for a second? He's got zoomies, dude. Ah. There we go. Nice. Please don't start the dash from the corner. Oh, he is. He's doing it. He's doing something. Nice. Yeah, I think I got the wolf as long as Grave Tender's dead. So we got to stagger on him pretty easily with the war pick, as far as I know. 
Oh, he just... I feel like he started that kind of late. That was weird. Like he decided to later on. Okay, there we go. We got Grave Tender. <clears throat> That's the best I've done on this so far since we saw this. Shouldn't be too bad. It's kind of funny. I went from thinking that like within today's stream we'll be able to finish this run to like straight up not thinking we would after seeing the Aldrich thing. And like still kind of debating if this would be much better. And now it's it's feasible. Okay, stagger please. Nice. Oh, please get the thank you. Uh demon, yeah, the crazy wolf breath. Nice. Alright, he's dead. That's every single boss in the game. Other than Aldrich and Wyvern. Which is a pretty bad pair, actually. That's a terrible pair. Okay, where's he gonna pop up? Please don't be behind me. Okay, this is kinda good. This has potential, dude. Yes, good RNG. Nice, okay. Again, I have the buffs, so I gotta put the dark buff on. I do that right now. I don't think it does much damage to him. Okay, one more before we go. Love tap, and then we're just zooming over here. That should be pretty decent. Oh! Lots of damage there. Light, ah, oh, arrows. Bro, I like ran out of stuff, man. So I took my HTC V, bro, and I put it in the blender. And you're probably wondering what happened, but like it rearranged the letters, bro. So now I got THC. And I was like, maybe I could get more if I put it inside like a cube, because it would be like to the power of three, brother. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna comp that. This is uh, not the time. Or maybe it is. Maybe Aldrich is getting kind of humored by this, and it's why the RNG is so good every single time. All the attacks he's doing are good. Look at that. See? Back to back. I was right. It's perfect. This could be a win. Oh, dude! Oh, fuck. Damn it. Why did I roll twice in front of him? <sighs> that was it. That was the win. Could have got it. Yeah, that did not help. Okay, we're going to be serious on this one. Nothing funny. No fun. Ah, oh, God. 100%. Oh my god, dude, the pillar works. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I should... Ugh, come on, I should have rolled. Okay, roll through the fire. Cool. Someone was probably like, do that, streamer. Just do that. He fucking did it twice. Dude, no. <laughs> Why? Why is it so bad? Oh, please, the magic. The magic. The magic. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Yo! 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 No, dude! The pit, why is this so hard? Oh my god, I just ran right into it. Ah. Ah, dude. Give myself a little bit of rip. No, it just is such a crazy attack! Okay, here we go, nice. We actually have all the heals, dude. This is amazing, this is hitless so far. Again, keep talking about this topic, dude. It's working. See, self-deprecate, oh shit. I was like, what what happened there? <laughs> oh! Fucking scary, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Cool. Chillin'. Still chillin'. Mega chillin'. Like, big chillin'. Yeah, cool. Cool. Just running. Yo! Oh my god, I thought I died there. Oh, okay, chillin'. Chillin'! Chillin', chillin', chillin'. Chillin'. Yo! Chillin'. <laughs> this thing's fucked up, dude. <laughs> oh my... No! Yo, dude. The statue shows up on the screen and blocks it, and then the camera... Yo, why? Why? Why, man? This is what I'm talking about. Why? No way. You couldn't You couldn't have possibly thought that. You guaranteed thought that was it, but it wasn't. I'm not even trying to throw. That's just how bad it is. It's actually really hard with this weapon, too, because the reach, but man. That reminds me of, like, that, that word. Dude, he... How? I had full health, did I not? There's always someone getting heated for a heavy issue. I think that's a development thing, to be honest, though. Like, we were talking about that before and in, like, other stuff. I was saying, like, people were saying I was pretty chill. And I was like, well, I'm not emotionally attached to the game, so if it's the gameplay, that's one explanation. And also, I will say I'm not projecting problems I'm having on you guys. And the problems I am having are managed to the point where, like, I could say the large majority of the, of the ones that are realized at the moment literally are just uh, things that are actually good problems, like, in terms of... They have a lot of, um, they have a lot of, like, actual meaning in terms of they can be precursors to help me improve things, right? They're not, like, super, super bad things, in my opinion, so, yeah. And I don't mean that in the context of, oh, like, just look at the, the bright side. I just mean, like, literally, they're not as bad as, like, um, let's say you have a much more dire circumstance of, like, oh, like, this just happened. 
that's really bad. Like people dying and shit. Like had that happen tons of times. No one's died recently, thankfully. You know, now maybe if that person was super close to me, it, like things that have happened before where I've lost close people. If that was a more recent thing, then my problems might be a little bit bigger for a certain amount of time. But even then I look at that as like, there's a necessary process to go through with loss. So it's not that loss is a problem necessarily. It's just perceived as one because we feel like we get attached to certain things, right? We look at it as, oh, I want this forever. So, you know, maybe you lose somebody. It's like, oh, that was like really good. But it's like a next chapter kind of thing where life's dynamic is <laughs> really, really intricate at that point. So you could even look at that as not a problem. You could look at it as a blessing that you could celebrate the existence of the opportunity and then just be like, that was a blessing. Let's heal now. Let's try to comprehend. But for the time being, it'll probably feel a little bit problematic. So, like, that kind of stuff could be a worse circumstance. Maybe, like, a bad injury. You know, like, un like maybe, again, you look at something as super unlucky. And, or there's a cer cer certain curveball kind of thing that, you know, requires adaptation. That's larger than what you anticipated for that time frame. It, there's a lot of stuff. Gotta get no phase two on this. He's over there again. Okay, please do not leave to phase two. And then I need a good attack. Bingus, how's it going? <laughs> Aldrich is already annoying. He is by default, yeah. I will agree with that. But the thing that's worse than this is, like, once we beat him, we have uh, the Wyvern. And the Wyvern's scary. It's just straight up nonsense. Ooh, oh, okay, okay. I see you. We can we can do that, yep. Cool. Yeah, it, it, not the Wyvern, right? I think if I wait a little longer on this before we roll back through it's better and then we roll that way and then it doesn't go anywhere what excuse me okay Aldrich please just give me a better scenario than this you, you have to at this point you have to be cool thank you no two of them that's interesting okay uh, I'll just punish this because why not might as well I didn't want to attack again there. That was a little bit of a mistake. Oh, he's close. He's very close. This is really good. Oh, that's so lucky. I don't know what made him that close there. Maybe because he got stuck on something. It's also a really good attack, too. Another one? Yo, that's cool. Okay, so we might not get as lucky if I don't punish this. This is really good. Usually I'd wait, but yeah, that's, that's really nice. Do the dragon statues block arrows if you stand under the wings? Unfortunately, they don't. <laughs> as far as I've like seen with being like literally running in a circle around one, like where I was underneath that part. But like, see how like it kind of slowed them down because I was beside one right there, or I kind of passed by one. It does slow down the trail of them. Okay, I need him to do another attack just so we can be safer. It's a good one. And I think Aldrich is becoming my favorite boss, guys. We've fought him a million times now. It really is the case. Oh! Okay. That was really safe somehow. Oh, and then he's close again. Um, but not doing arrows, because I got gotcha. you. All right, Wyvern time. Let's go. Super serious. Ah, man. Dry hands. Thank you. Oh! Yo, okay. Okay. Strafing. Strafing. I'm just going to go in the inside of this one.
Yeah, I do more damage to the Wyvern, which is hilarious. I will say, this is like one of the coolest arenas though. Like I've spent quite a bit of time in it, but it's a cool place to spend a lot of time in. And it might make it, it might make that like um, situation with Nameless that I had a little bit more clear on why I was having fun on it. Not just Nameless, but like I was in this arena for 20 something hours on SL1. It was a, it was the first playthrough, it was a blind playthrough, but I was level one though. It took so long, it was the longest thing. Totally makes sense now. It's got a calm atmosphere to it, but it's like, a little mysterious too. And it also, again, the building in the background reminds me of the built one building from Dragon Ball Z. Like the one with the round roof on it. Yeah, he's slow, but that attack right there, though, Bingus. So the reason I'm running to the side is mainly just because of that. If he does it and I dodge, I can't dodge it most of the time. It has a crazy hitbox on it. Everything else is pretty reasonable. The fire, unfortunately, I'm in a weird spot for it when he does the fire that curves around. This one's really good. This is an amazing attack. So you're seeing the final product of what I've been practicing on this. Because I was by no means good at this fight before today. Like, I literally only did it, I think, with regular damage once. And this is an easier version of that, but I can't survive as easily, right? So it's a harder version overall, but easier for the damage. That was a really nice three attack situation. Yeah, I think this is the way you want to do it, guys. You got to straight. Only took forever to figure that out. See? Can't see. Can't see. Can't see. I got a little greedy there. We're in the end times. This is good. I can see it, man. Surely nothing could go... I'm not even going to say the rest of that sentence. Not even going to try to say anything more than that. Is that it? Oh, I got scared. I thought he was going to attack again. Oh, dude, we finally did... Okay, that, that was ridiculous for the ending. But that is legitimately, and again, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I'm pretty sure I did everything. But I believe that is all bosses, plus DLC, randomized enemies, and items at level 1. In 18 hours, 42 minutes, 44 seconds. Jeez. And then I'm actually going to end with like the, the proper cutscene too. Yeah, I'll link the flame for sure. Got the Sage Ring as a reward. And also, for anyone that is watching this in the YouTube video, because this will probably be in the video when I say this, please comment at how irritated you are about the fact that I didn't go and run around the map and pick up every other item that's there that I didn't pick up already, even though everything's dead. Just please tell me that. And, and tell me what you would do if you were me and how you wouldn't do that, because I can already imagine. Yeah, that was crazy. Thank you for sticking through that with me, guys. That was a lot longer than I planned to be here for, but it was a good stream, though. It was solid. Oh, man. That's wild. You're punching the air right now? Dude, I'm gonna do some shadow boxing too right now. Give me a second. Let's link the flame and shadow box, dude. Just fucking... oh, ow, man. That hurt my hand a lot. Oh my god, I punched my hand really hard. <laughs> so yeah, I can't stream tomorrow. I just broke my hand by punching it. <laughs> that was a... Dude, I actually gotta be careful, man. Holy shit. That makes sense of why I hurt myself so often. Dude, I don't, I don't have a perceived, like, threshold of force for a lot of things. <laughs> Oh man, we got Aldrich and then we had to beat Wyvern after it and yeah, I was bad at it. That was by far the hardest thing for whatever reason. Had uh, Grave Tender in place of Demon Prince, that was fine. Demon Prince is in the DLC, free to phase two and three for Deacon's early game with a not fully upgraded weapon. But yeah, that was by far the hardest. Most violent action you've seen coming from me ever. I had the thing on uh, Instagram as well where I was punching the punching bag. And I fucked my hand up doing that too. That was pretty funny. I was hitting that really hard actually. I wasn't using like insane technique, but I was trying to be silly and I actually did screw my hand up a little bit. Like the skin was all scuffed, I was bleeding. <laughs> Anyways, um, that was a really fun stream guys. Good conversation as well.